and gentlemen of the fantastic To be an empire Are you guys ready to party? Are you guys ready to go? Oh, 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 I know you guys are. Look at it. Not even. At peak capacity, and already trillions and millions and quadrillions inside of the Grand Arena Coliseum. <laughs> Grab a drink. Grab your seat because you know Gary's gonna beat you to it. The day. No, no, no. We don't believe in Monday Blues. We believe in the Blues Clues. Let me tell you, I can assure you. There's a reason why Blue's Clues never aired on a Monday. Is that even true, Gary? You gotta fact check your stuff, man. That doesn't even sound right. Why would they not show? Okay, anyways. Grand Arena time! Oh, well, Gary, you could've. No, 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 we're, we're doing that all over again. Why? I, I'm hyping these folks up. And why do you insist on... No, 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 no. Bring it... No, send it back over. No, we're going to go back over there. Okay. okay, okay, okay. Uh, wow, now you know how to do a transition. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. no. Show my face. They, they can't see me. Gary. No. Okay, that's good. Now, resume applause. Okay, that's your guys' this part. Music playing. And let's try this again. It's time for the Grand Arena to come out. Much better! You know, do this the first time around and you're gonna be good, okay? All right, calm down, calm down, y'all. How we doing, y'all? Let's see how the chat's doing. We have Owen Cummings, Killer Vader, 13 months. They said they have to because the month number, what's wrong? 13 months is their problem. Am I missing something? Oh no. May the odds be ever not! In your favor. I appreciate the capitalization because, you know, YouTubers, you know, we have to emphasize keywords or else we don't understand the sentence. I don't know what's wrong. Number 13. Is it Friday the 13th? It's not Friday. It's Monday. Did, the, what, did Mike Myers show up on Monday now? Oh, no. It's, it's Friday the 13th. That's a Freddy Krueger thing. Mike Myers. I'm losing track, Gary. There's too many homicidal maniacs in the movies. I'm losing track, Owen. Monday the 13th. I don't know. Maybe Mike Myers, Freddy Krueger change up their schedule. They're, they're attacking Mondays. Watch out Mondays, Freddy Krueger slash Michael Myers is coming at you. I don't care what the day is. Then, then what does, did it turn into the 13th? Did they just take out the Friday and it's now just the 13th? Gary, you gotta, you gotta keep me up on these things, man. That's not Halloween yet. I'm completely out. All right, Owen, you need to relate to Gary why this is a problem because now you're having me concerned. It's the month number, man. Is there wrong with, what's wrong, what's wrong with number 13? Oh, and hold on. I'm not moving on until we know what is wrong with number 13. Any day with a one or three is dangerous. Okay. But why? Why? I need to know. The numbers. What do they mean, Owen? All right, while Owen figures that out, we have Michael Pruitt, the $5. Good to see you, GE. Gucci's forever, and you better believe it. Pain is only temporary. Long of the Kyber Empire. All the things. Anything else, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, I love that. That's Monday enthusiasm right there. And you only know it's only going to get better throughout the week, Michael. You know, we know how you work around these parts. Woo! And then we have Michael Rossi. I had a feeling we were going to see you chatting this up today. How about that Ahsoka trailer? <laughs> CGI Thrawn's face. I didn't see. Uh, so I, I so in the trailer, you don't see Thrawn's face. I, I got really excited. I almost I remember when what's his name? I always from his Lars, right? I always mess up his name. Uh, it's great to see we have the actual voice actor showing up in live action. In the actual trailer, you only see the back, but I think there was like some weird like 360p quality screenshot on the internet with like the front face. I hate how it's everything so secretive at Star Wars Celebration. They won't let you post stuff. They won't let you like, I, I think Eckhart Slatter got in trouble for posting clips that was supposed to be secret in the Star Wars Celebration. It really annoys. I want to see all this stuff. It's like they keep it very, very exclusive. 
Um, but yeah, let me see if I can find it. Let's see. Let's see. Ron face. Let's see if we can see it here. No, no, no. Uh, Lar. Where is it? A silk reveals the face of the villain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where there was a front. Yeah, like this is all I get. Like, <laughs> so I think they showed a, another snippet or something. Oh, see, look, they, they took it down. They took it down. I probably shouldn't. You know, I'm not even going to show it myself. Just look it up. <laughs> They took down the actual Reddit post. It's, it's like, it's crazy how it's not like this is a secret NDA meeting. This is like a public, one of the biggest like conventions of all the year. Yeah, so I'm not going to show it. Maybe I'll get, I'll get something taken down. But I, the only picture I saw was this 360p image and it didn't look impressive in that little screenshot, but it's probably because it was some low res quality. I'm just happy that our boy is playing the role. I remember he said, oh, I'm not playing it. Like when people were speculating. I, I call I called BS. Like I had a feeling this guy was gonna be it. I had a feeling because I know the other candidate was like Benedict, and he, I, I kind of felt like he wasn't gonna do it, even if he was the the first choice. Uh, but him, I was like, all right, I, I, I'm smelling some BS. Three typical, like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, of course not. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he's on it though. But yeah, the the screenshots that are getting taken down, it's kind of hard to gauge what it looks like from those images. It's just crazy. Anyways, anyways. Michael, hopefully you're excited about the lot of boy, a lot of stars. The fact that they're ex like they expanded the timeline like first time, I think from a canon perspective, I think they're acknowledging the older public, right? And then they even have areas before the older public. And then now we have this Ray rebuilding the Jedi Order. I, it's good to see that they're expanding and uh, as long as it's quality stuff, of course, it's cool to see that they're looking into these new areas and hopefully they do the older public. Yeah, Vision 2 yeah, Vision 2 is announced. Bad Batch is getting its third season and final season next year. Holy cow, a lot of stuff going on for Star Wars. So again, quality is number one thing, but if they can keep quality and expand, man, only gonna get me excited. Only gonna get me more excited. Admiral Bench appearance, maybe. I do have Admiral Bench in office because the guy's kind of garbanzo being so far on defense. We'll see, maybe we'll find something fun. And then there's our boy, Kadarla Poe, 30 months. Is there a problem with 30 that I need to know about? Because apparently 13's off the menu from Owen. Arnold versus Cal, reject player. A reject as we just play LeBrock, reject reality, return the monkey. Yeah, how about we give, do a little introduction? You know, give him a round of applause. Let's, yeah, 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 it's okay. You can clap for them. It's okay. It's all right. Let's, yeah, let's go get to it right away. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Give a shout out to the one, but the only. That's how we do! All right. I'm, I'm almost certain. Dead space, Gary. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta play something. Okay, uh, not my first go-to, but I'll take it. I'll take it. I believe I've, uh, I pretty much followed all these folks, but it's been like my memory's a little weary. My, my tactic scanners aren't picking up all the data, but I'm pretty sure we fought Cal before. Let's give a shout out to their guild as well. Cal Unleashed, representing clones unleashed. I believe this is the guild that uh, Fatal is a part of here. Let's go take a little sneaky poodle doodle at the Raska Doodles. And yeah, we have Dread Ghost 501 with a 501. <laughs> nice. <laughs> GE Starkiller team. A Starkiller farm is killing me with 2100 cards for five characters. Got the Arnold Galactus deck online for the infinite season. Oh, baby, that's what I like to hear. You know, it's funny. Uh, I, 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 people don't want to believe it. Galactus is, in my opinion, the best deck to climb. It's so peaceful. You only lose like one or two cubes max. And all these other decks, you have to guess and hope you're going to win the zones. There's a lot more to bounce. No, no. Galactus, nice, easy climb. I was goofing around decks all week, and I, I couldn't get beyond 70. I turned on my Galactus on Saturday. Boom. Hit 85 within a few hours. Galactus haters are not on our level, right? Great to hear that, my friend. And then we have Ruin the 30 Months, the 30-month club represent Lock of the Cup Empire. Thank you, my friend. And on that note, I feel like I'm ready. I got the energy from you guys. Oh! Man, I'm feeling recharged. I'm feeling ready to eat up some fools and eat up some teams. But let's go see what Cal Unleash and the clones Unleash they got for us. So all the GLs, 10.7 million. We do have a bit of an advantage. I think I have 300, 700,000 above them. In this neck of the woods, eh. Not a big difference. I mean, like, <laughs> we don't have, uh, they don't see, see, you know what the real advantage is? They don't have cup at relics. That's what, 
That's what all my extra GP means. A bunch of memes. Relic 9 pal, that's where my advantage comes from. I'm already liking this person. In my neck of the woods of data crowns. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of our opponents have been like stacked to the brim. Nuh-uh, Cal, they know what's up, man. Come on. Give, give me a little sugar. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. All right. Let's go see what they have on the defensive side of things. Then we can go in and start pop, 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 pop. We definitely got to keep up a little bit of a pace. A little bit uh, later than usual today. But it's all good. Because let me tell you, we're going to be fast as lightning. Thanks to the fact that Hondo uh, did some magic on defense. Can we see what Hondo did? Look at the work that Hondo's got going on. Of course, mostly the data crown in action. Hondo himself. I wish they were better. But anyways, Lord Vader, six holds. Nice. Give me some of that love. Really, it's probably probe droid causing the problems there. This team, time and time again, I'm, I think I'm ready to say it. This is the best non-legendary team in the game right now. Zori, Finn, nasty team. And I think people are just sleeping on it because resistance aren't people's like favorite thing and not and galactic. I Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure Galactic Legends Ray is one of the least adopted galactic legends in the game. Gary, double check it. So people sleeping on this team intentionally, unintentionally, I'm, I think I'm pretty certain it's the best non, uh, non best non galactic legend, best non legendary team in Galaxy Heroes. Job unfortunate, not doing much, but GL Hondo coming in with the nasty 11 defensive hold. Probably drained the bank a little bit. Down here, well, they did pretty good. They, they were off to a really good start. What it looks like, assuming you went down here first, one shotting everything, one shot the Kenobi. One shot the Malgus, one shot the Sith Eternal, one shot the Raid, but it was looking really good. And then of course, things got a little messy up there. Now I'm gonna assume, you know, good players. I'm assuming maybe they're waiting for our final score and they're gonna come back down here and see, all right, that's the score. Let's see what we can work through. So I'm gonna assume they're gonna get through this, at least for now. Maybe uh, Hondo, Zori, and uh, Lord Vader bled them dry. They might not have enough teams, but We'll assume for right now, they're going to get through. And then on the ship side of things, what do we got? Ships are good for them. Let's see. Let's see. C, C, C. It looked pretty clean. One shot, one shot, one shot. I'm assuming it's a one shot. Can't scroll. It's a billion dollar plus mobile game. Can't scroll, y'all. Sorry about that. I'm assuming they one shot it. So what do we have to do on our side of this hollow table? Well, pretty light on the GLs. Technically, there is a GL up here. We have ourselves Reva, but we have Treya. Uh, the trade nerf hasn't gone into effect yet. They said they're going to do it. Hey, the longer they take, the more love Trey can get. So we're going to probably trade that. Uh, super, super sauna. No, no, no. Get out of here, HK. I don't care. Super sauna. We have a super sauna team. I don't know if Hux is going to be able to work through that. So uh, I don't know. We'll probably throw a CLS at the gas. I brought CLS in offense. Uh, Savage makes this very complicated. We'll see what we're feeling on this later on so probably gonna handle that last so that's the game plan it's like a little pick at the north just so we know what we're doing i think they yeah they tucked an array up there odd odd but let's see yeah they got the ray so hopefully we can get star killer to knock that out oh we got to be careful though um i encountered a data cron last grand array we did win i'll make a highlight i don't know later this week but there's this level six on resistance that made it really hard the anti-critical hit baked in Ooh, it was tough. It was a scary battle, but uh, luckily they don't have it. We have a JTR team, Malgus with the Sith Assassin. I don't think this is as threatening without Darth Revan. I know I don't like Sith Assassin here because it scares me, but uh, they don't have Revan and crew. And then they have their own Geo Hondo on defense. But the good thing is there's no nest. Yeah. Uh, ah, crap. Never mind. They have the bonus turn. I was thinking maybe we could do Imperial Troopers. The bonus turn's a little concerning, so we'll have to wait and see. How we're feeling about that. But nonetheless, let's get in there. Start laying down the plays. Let's show you why on Monday. There's no Monday blues. Only the blues clues. So they, they see that you fact checked yourself. They did they did play blues clues on Monday. Yeah, why wouldn't blues clues play? Gary, get out of here, dude. No, no, okay, no, come back. Okay, I was joking. I was I wasn't I didn't mean literally just sit down, dude. Come on, you gotta understand when I'm being sarcastic and being real with you. Gosh, dude. This guy is so literal with everything I say. Yeah, when I say you're trash, you might be literal trash. You might be figurative trash. I don't know. That's for you to figure out. Use your best judgment on that, Gary. Anyways. Uh, guy always likes to cause complications, yeah. Uh, okay. Did I miss anything else? I know I'm always missing out on stuff. We have Zombie Killer 187. One month, Lord Arnold. Get in there. 
Okay, we got it. <laughs> First try. What have I told you? I got Marion Relic 9 free to play. Holy cow. I mean, I can see I mean, Relic 9 is not like this impossibility free to play. You could be sitting on a lot of uh, droid brains and all that stuff. Love to see it though. Marion, I don't know if there's a reason to get a Relic 9. But I'm glad you're loving her. She's uh, she's a fun little dish. I'm very curious to see what the last 5v5 next week's gonna look like with Mirren in the picture. And of course, it's great to be a bounty hunter today. I mean, I'm not sure if the bounty hunters are gonna have an easy time beating Mirren with the Omicron and stuff, but you know, bounty hunters, they always have business. Never a lack of business. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna just knock out this gas battle first. Let's do it. Can Qui-Gon only beat the Inquisitors? I'm gonna and I'm inclined to say no. Uh that's the one thing Grand Inquisitor does well. Ability blocks. All that fancy stuff. I mean, maybe if you can try to not get Anakin ability block, maybe. But I'm going to say that odds of that. If I had to go on SVG, uh, G, 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 I'm guessing the win rate. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. I probably don't. You yeah, actually know. I don't have time. Look it up yourself. I'm pretty sure it's probably somewhere or sub 30%. Maybe even sub 20. I'm a guess it's not going to work too well. CLS time. Let's do it. Brought CLS on offense. This go around. And we got ourselves. We get three pock in that spot. So a little bit of love for my Wookiees. You know what I'm hoping for? I'm actually kind of worried. What if the, the Chief Tarful team, right? It's supposed to create a Wookiee team. Maybe it's just a territory battles thing. But I'm worried that it's going to pull these Wookiees away from CLS. Time will tell, I suppose. Time will tell. Which version of Blue Sex is most reliable? I mean, I don't know. This is what I'm using. I don't know if it's going to be reliable for you, but I have 5.10.250.1004. It does not have high frames per second, though. All right, let's just do it. Actually, is that the one I have? No, not the right. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Wrong Wookiee. <laughs> Please don't cancel me. All right, there we go. That's the right one now. Finally, see us have R2 again. I mean, just fixing R2 would be fantastic. I mean, it's not that R2 is bad. It's just for a legendary. They're, they're probably the least-ish feeling legendary character in the game, I think. Yeah, possibly. Uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to say it, but let's do it. Let's do it, honey. Go, oh, baby. Let's show what the King of Trippy is all about. Let's get on in there. Ba, ba, ba. Should I look at their data crown? Probably. Uh, wow, that's a lot of armor. 233%. Woo, that's for a level. Oh, it's a level eight. Okay, I was going to say for a level six, that's a lot, but now it's level eight. All right, let's go. I haven't done CLS versus Gas in a minute. I'm assuming this should go well since CLS is dunking on a ton of Galactic Legends right now. All right. This probably actually feels like overkill. I don't have Maul on offense, though. All right, first thing I'm going to do, work down the five. There's all that armor. Make it a little bit challenging. That's why we got to get a head start there. Let's see if we can try to get some counterattacks. All right, got the protection up. There we go. Let's go. Who needs it? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I guess let's give it to Han for right now. Oh, boy, boy. Thick daddy going on here. Yeah, 230% armor. It's taking a minute to get this guy down. Boom. Almost there. Exposes doing the work that we need. Come on, let's get some work in there. AoE buff the spell. Not like there's much to spell. Got the protection back. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. No counterattacks. That sucks. All right, he's down. Wow. That took a minute there. Wowza. Lots of armor. I'm actually a bit scared to do this. Yeah, just do basic for right now. All right, let's see. Come on, we gotta get him down. There we go. He's down. All right, let's see if we can try to get him out. Who needs to give it over to that Wookiee? Might need to go through another gas. I'm a feeling. Let's go. Big hit. Driver! Not quite enough. Let's get rid of the Arc Trooper. All right, we're good. Oh, can you finish him off? Oh, another gas incoming. We got to be careful. All these buffs could spell a complication for gas or for us. No, 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 no. Oh, you idiot. What are you doing? Oh, gosh. What an idiot. Wasted an attack over there. I have a feeling this is going to be a little poor. Come on. Oh, boy, this armor, man. You're really feeling it. All right, come on. Let's get him out. All right. Whew. All right, all right, boy. It's going to probably be a cleanup depending on how this goes. All right. Let's see. We need to get some good stuns locked in. There we go. All right, who's going down? Someone's going down. Wookie's going down. He's going down. All right, let's see. What do we got? Pass it over to Luke. Give me some speed down. Let's try to get him into a stun lock. No, got resisted. That's fine. Keep pushing. Pull back some turn meter. Let's go swap this over. Boy, oh boy. Data Crons. Let me tell you. Uh, let's do basic stun him. Still, boy, still having a hard time landing him. Basic should be enough. Woo. Yikes. Yikes. That was sketchy. Almost, I mean, I, let's be honest. I mean, yes, the Data Crown helped overcome some of the armor. I would rather bring that than have a vanilla loot go up against 200% armor. But my gosh. Jeez. That's a lot of armor to work through. Felt like I was doing nothing to them. All right. Man, we got through a pretty messy first battle, but it's all good. Let's move on over to Reva. Oh, 
Oh boy, we have K Beaver with the three months long of the Empire. You better believe it, my friend. Great seeing you, K Beaver. Can't wait for Galactic Legends. Jack Black. Gosh, okay, I think we're kind of past boys. If you haven't seen Mandalorian over the weekend, you know, it's like, I don't have to tell you. I'm just going to say this. Jack Black was in there. If you, if you didn't see it or you didn't see the Twitter, the Facebook, holy cow, Disney gave like a 20 minute spoiler warning <laughs> and they would just went straight into it. Gosh, I love Jack Black. It was just, but it's so hard. It's like, I'm watching it and I couldn't like, you know, like you, you, you can kind of embrace certain characters. Like they're the character, not the actor. All I could see is like, I can't see the character Jack Black was playing. All I can see was just Jack Black. It was just, uh, it was unexpected, Incoming. very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh yeah it was very unexpected and it's like oh i can't i just i keep like i lose the immersion when i see jack black it's like no it's the rise of the phoenix or whatever the heck he does over there oh my gosh uh all i saw is tenacious d see it would have been funny if they had the, the, the whole tenacious d gang in there that would have been perfect <laughs> it was a weird episode though it was uh you know oh my gosh you know what drove me crazy i was thinking more and more about the episode it's like, all right, so they visited the the, the Ugnots, right? <laughs> Somehow the Ugnots, there's two things that really irritated me. <laughs> two things. <laughs> Number one, they go to the Ugnots and they already know where the next like event is going to happen. It's like, okay, how do they know? The other thing is, holy cow, was the Christopher Lloyd the worst villain? I'm going to put in quotation marks. You know, villain's a certain point of view. Worst villain of all time. He literally put his name. <laughs> <laughs> the actual thing it's like dude make an alias why would you literally say yeah it was me that rigged all these droids uh, it's like it was kind of a i get the i get they're trying to like super speed this crime scene investigation scooby-doo episodes but like holy cow man villain 101 never put your name on the evil weapon you know what i mean anyways moving on here it, it, it drove me what those two things it's like huh Incoming i can't device. tell if they were just kind of a weak writing or was it they were just trying to speed things up and so they kind of cut a lot of corners yeah anyways yeah he was uh oh yeah the other thing that was kind of weird seeing a b2 like it was cool seeing the b2s and b1s in action but it felt really weird seeing him be that like what's the nimble the the way they moved like holy cow imagine if they ran into clone wars like that like it was almost like straight out of a horror movie the way the the b2 is going it was actually kind of, kind of scary but it was weird seeing them animate in that uh yeah very agile it was like you know they're normally like clink 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 no this guy man he was like ready to run a marathon it seemed like yeah it was a little too human like right it was kind of like we the way we animated the the, the stupid little trench music video like there's a difference i'm trying to be funny and the guys doing like weird dances but they kind of did something like that too yeah right yeah boston dynamics movement right <laughs> it was great hearing the b1 voice i 100 agree anyways let's get uh this battle's weird basically uh, yeah i actually do i even need a full team of five i don't know here's the thing y'all uh kind of just put a body in there just to eat up the hits i guess i usually just throw in zalbar they basically everyone dies and Except for Nihilus and Treya, usually it's how this goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do I have Zalbar? I guess just throw him in there and just hope for the best. Jack Black and Galaxy here is like, I kind of want to see that. <laughs> I just want to see Jack Black and Galaxy here. Oh my gosh. Anyways, moving on. Please see the Mario movie. It's literally 11 out of 10. Yeah, we uh, got the holidays this week. But I'm definitely going to take my siblings to see it this week. Uh, they have spring break going on. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. I heard, I heard the critics weren't crazy about it. But yeah, you know, critics. Yeah. It's about the fans. And the fan reviews look pretty positive over, overall. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. Bowser confirmed. It was pretty ironic. The day of the Mario movie release, Jack Black shows up in Star Wars. Coincidence? I think not. It's cool seeing it. It's a fun movie. Awesome. Glad you guys enjoyed it. I know there's a lot of concerns about Chris Pratt and stuff like that. So... Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it this week sometime. Don't you worry, Moyne Saint. That's a promise. That's a promise. My siblings have been bothered. I was going to take them this weekend, but then, yeah, all the holiday shenanigans. Anyways, what do I want to throw here? Uh, I'm guessing health. Health turns into bonus protection. I don't need armor penetration. Um, let's see. And yeah, tank revive might not be bad in case we lose Scion. Oh, there's, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. That might be okay. What concerns us, Chris Pratt? Uh, we talked about this. In the, I mean, if you don't know about it, boy, I'm happy for you because there's a lot of concern complaints about Chris Pratt because they have the original Mario voice actor live. They didn't pick him. They picked Chris Pratt over because Chris Pratt's going to bring more people in the seats. Let's not beat around the bush. As much as I love the original voice actor for Mario, Chris Pratt just has the bigger name. 
And when when you when we heard the trailer for the first time, it didn't really quite feel like Mario through the trailer. It's like let's go. It's like it just didn't it didn't even it didn't sound like Mario. Yeah. So Chris Pratt, it's just like we talked about this, there's a difference between actor and voice actor. When it comes to animation, I'm never really crazy about like big name Hollywood studio AAA actors voicing characters because being a voice actor requires a much different skill set than just sounding like Chris Pratt or The Rock on an animation. Right? You want to feel like you're more pulled into the animation of a character rather than like oh that's just chris pratt talking right so that's kind of what it is anyways let's go hop into this one uh boy this is this battle is always scary but we go through it i don't think the the nerf hasn't been in place they said they're they, 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 are, they said they're gonna do something about it they're gonna make it so they get the death mark on them when the tree cleanses them i don't think it happened yet let's go in there <sighs> okay yeah, yeah, let her let her break him. Wait, wait, is, wait, is Reva breaking my mind and body or is Treya? Hopefully it's Treya. I don't want to get broken. All right. Let's get ready for this. Three, two, one. Let's go for it, baby. This we're literally gonna sit here for like 10 hours. Waiting for a turn! We gotta wait for it to load. Alright, now we just sit here and we just sit. We wait. Oh, I'll take that. Okay. Nyla's getting all that terminated from the debuffs. Okay. I don't know if that's going to help much, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Oh, gosh. Nihilus is the win condition. He cannot go. He cannot go bye bye. All right. Seven Sister taking a beating ball. All those attacks on a turn. Zalbar stepping in with the taunt. All right. Do no insta kill yet. All right. It's fine. Zalbar just. I don't know, man. I almost feel like we shouldn't put Zalbar in there. Oh, boy. Days is going to kill me. Oof. Days is rough. All right, we need to get some isolates. Come on, baby, let's go! Ooh, he's not looking hot right now. He's not looking hot, and that's fine. We got the revive, he'll come back. He'll come back. All right, uh, we have no purge. I'm gonna put this on us. Okay, let's go. Okay, never mind. I don't get a turn up here. I still, all right, I guess I just don't get a turn. Never mind, science. Sorry, buddy. Holy cow, give me a turn. All right, that's nice. Thank you for the turn. Let's go pop it over on Nihilus. All right, we're around the taunts. All right, we have an instant kill coming next turn. Nihilus lost the day. Send this girl back to the sands of Tatooine to meet her maker, Owen. I'm telling you, Owen's going to come and it's going to be the hardest counter to Reva. All right, John, got to wait for a turn again. Any day now. Waiting for a turn. Uh oh, purge bug still. Purge bug. They thought they fixed it. I don't think they did. Pop this spell. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Bonus protection tray coming in mega clutch. All right. No. Eight purge. Yeah, they broke their game, CG. Fix your game. All right. Come on. Niles, give me more terminate. My goodness, dude. Just. Holy cow. The amount of turns this team takes. I'm a whole. Come on. Yeah, it's still continuing. Just, oh my gosh, Nihilus, come on, dude, come on. All right, well, jeez, uh, I, I don't know, just, I don't want to waste an AoE. I just do basic. They're going to hopefully drop with the foresight soon. Come on. Dude, I just want to turn, man. Come on, Treya. Someone get, come on, Nihilus. Uh, there we go. We can hit him at least. There we go. All right, um, there we go. We're good. All right, let's get that. We have no purges. We won't get death mark. There we go. I got a turn, y'all. What a great feeling it is. Okay, come on. Let's get this. Let's come on. Let's finish her up. No, 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 no. Listen, let's just tickle her. Let's go. Come on. Someone, Nihilus. There we go. Finish her. All right, she's gone. Nicely done. Get that off of Grand Inquisitor. Still two minutes to go, man. This team is still holding on. Oh boy! All right, that's gonna be a lot of terminator. Looking good, looking good. Cooldown increase across the board. Three cooldown increases. We'll take it to the bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's scary. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Most protection back on. Ooh, scared me for a second there. No purge. Uh, just do it. Let's go. He's ready to go. Full health again. Uh, let's get the protection off of fifth brother. Nicely done. All right, nice. Come on, let's get that instant kill. Uh, it's unfortunate. And let's go pop him off. Lunch time. Holy cow, this battle literally takes like the full time slot nearly. Okay. All right. And we can breathe. Three, two, one. One and a half. One and three. Four. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm counting the wrong way. Zero. There we go. Holy Oh 
boy, this team is just freaking nutty, y'all. <laughs> but we got through it. That's all that matters. It's almost like it, I don't I don't even know if I put Zalbert in there just in case. I I want to believe just the three of them can handle it for now. Again, remember, they're probably going to nerf this. They're, when they clean off the purge passively, they'll get the death mark. So I don't know. I'm going to be worried if this doesn't work anymore. Yeah, Zalbor carry. You better believe it. Hey, all right, JJ, JJ, JJ. All right, two, the five dollars. How are we doing, bud? Good weekend? Let's see. Took my 15 year old son to see Mario. We shaved our beards. <laughs> Leaving just a mustache and dressed as Mario and Luigi. Oh, that sounds like an amazing weekend. We got our nerd on. Had a blast. That's what I love to hear. See, hearing stuff like that, you know, I'm glad people are liking it. I haven't seen it. I, all I've heard was from fans was mostly positive stuff. So great to hear that RGJ only make me looking forward to seeing it more later on sometime this week. My question is actually, I don't know. The math shows that Mario was a, the biggest. It was the biggest animation opening of all time or something like that for a box opening weekend. I think it's like 300 million. I think Sonic was the one before, um, but I'm curious to see if people like Sonic more than Mario. It's seeming like people are liking Mario more than Sonic here, but man, good stuff good stuff love to hear that it sounds like a lot of fun no malgus uh, not on this team they decided to split them apart i'm not too sure if i like the split i mean don't get me wrong the sith assassin has been pretty good i kind of i think i need the relic her up for this next week uh, i've been seeing a lot of impressive stuff but i don't think this is gonna stop gas i think you really need to have darth revan and basla at the minimum with sith assassin to stop gas i don't know we're gonna throw it at it and see what happens uh, so they brought this, but this is still a very threatening team without Malgus, mainly because of Savage. Savage shuts down Imperial Trooper. Savage, I think, shuts down the Bounty Hunters. We also have HK with the opening fear move. Let me see here. I feel like Sonic 2, you like Sonic 2 more than Mario, but it's quite good. That's what I like to see. That's what I, I'm still in the theory that Sega intentionally, or who was it? Was it Sega? I don't know if it was Sega, but whoever made the movie for Sonic, they intentionally made it look bad to build up a lot of like conversation. And then they get a lot of praise when they fix it. I, I'm almost feeling that was staged. I, can't, I don't believe they were even considering that's what Sonic was gonna look like originally. Oh my gosh, I can't get that nightmare out of my head. Anyways, let's go check out the Savage situation. Uh, Savage adds an extra flavor of complication in any team nowadays. So let's go hop on over and let's see what the all saying SWHGG has to say about it. So we got ourselves Savage in the mix. Uh, Mac, I don't know if I wanna throw a Galactic Legend. All right, gas seems like it can get through this, but what about if we throw a Basla in there? All right, 69%. <laughs> nice. Uh, we don't have Grand Inquisitor. That's not looking good. Yeah, see, this is kind of nasty. See, Imperial Troopers do not work against this. Bounty Hunters likely will not work against this. Boy, it's almost like, so. It, it, it's kind of weird. Ooh, I would not be mad if I could pull that off. Boy, five people got 100%. So that sounds, that sounds crazy i find that hard to believe i find that hard to believe i mean maybe it's possible i don't know definitely we're not throwing imperial troopers at this don't want to throw star killer and yeah this doesn't have we need malik in there throw malik in there was there malik in that hold on where was that qui-gon team and they had malik in there 100 success right wow i find that kind of odd yeah no imperial troopers unfortunately imperial troopers are getting boxed out in a lot of regards nowadays yeah, see, this is kind of... I was expecting 0%. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, you know? It's like quite good. I'm not using it for a lot of stuff. Man, it's almost seeming like I have to throw a... Uh... You know what I wonder, actually? Could I maybe just throw Bounty Hunters at that other Malgus team? Since there's, like, no Darth Revan, there's no... Yeah, you know what? We... Mm -hmm. I'm looking at this Malgus team. It's not looking very threatening. I'm almost thinking, let's just throw maybe Bounty Hunters against that. There's, I mean, yeah, they have damage and speed, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's Malgus without Darth Revan, Malik, and Bastlashan. It's not really an amazing team. I mean, it's good, but it's not amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe we use gas in this Darth Revan. 75%, 69% win rate, give or take. It's a little bit more challenging. Five will first. And yeah, check the data. And eh, we'll check it when we get there. I think, um, yeah, I just don't want to throw a GL. Worst case scenario, we can always throw a GL. We still have how many GLs? I got two GLs in the bank, technically three for counting third sister. So, you know what? Let's use the 5 0 first here. 5 0 first. I just know from experience, Savage, you know, it can complicate matters just a little bit. Do I have a 200%? I know I have a good armor one. Is it defense or armor that I have? Yeah, 200. Let's do it. 218%. I'll do it. I'll do it. I do it. Bound here's had a zero percent win rate. Well, that's no good against that version. 
Yeah, Sith Assassin really complicates things. It's, uh, I, I kind of been wanting a reason to gear up Sith Assassin. If it makes Malgus better versus Gas, it's worth it. And then we have Ethan King with the $2. When is the new CQ unit revealed? No stream center. It was the weekend, Ethan. We, uh, yeah, it was the weekend, obviously. <laughs> Holiday weekend for me and my family. So, yeah, I, I think I told you guys on Thursday, likely there was no stream, but I'll make a little summary video. A couple interesting things when I was playing on the, on the side on the weekend. So, sorry if you didn't get the memo on that, Ethan. And then we have Casual Yogurt. I think you missed the, my super chat. Don't worry, Casual Yogurt. I'm always missing someone. Just remember that. There we go. We have four, Casual Yogurt, the 499. I love your streams. They brighten my days at work. Just like you guys brighten my day. I'm watching. I'm working, not watching your stream. <laughs> wink, wink. Remember, if you ever have complications, flash that copper code VIP plus pass card. They'll be apologizing to you for interrupting you and making you miss out on the few seconds that they were bothering you. And then only six pieces of gear. Uh, between me and that big suck heck to the yeah yeah baby my i'm getting pretty close to executive on the free to play almost there and terror to battle rewards came in got a bunch of zimbital cards almost at the impulse detector too so we're pretty good looking pretty good just like this is gonna well i hope it's gonna look good right guess right right yeah, that's where the fun begins. So we're going to hope Savage ramps up our damage with all those buffs. We're going to hope there's minor complications, y'all. I'm worried. There's a lot of things going on. 30% chance plus this could fail on us. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Final. Final again. Final. Final. I don't like sand. I was waiting for my turn. I appreciate the kindness. After 20 seconds. All right, nasty opening. <laughs> Let's go. Not much option. Let those buffs fuel me. Let's go. Give me some more buffs. Nice juicy buffs. Nap time. Here we go. All right. I got a feeling we're going to get an early sacrifice. Oof, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. We got to get up, buddy. It's not looking hot right now. Not looking good. Yikes, that does not look good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pass it over. Yiko, Rooney's, Mama Dooney's, and I'm probably still not gonna get a turn. Oh gosh, come on, give me a turn. All right, let's nuke him out. Gosh, Savage, man. What a nutbag, this guy. Get him out. Not quite enough. Still stuck behind this son of a gun. Ooh, almost down though. Hit him back, hit him back. Ah! Ah! Pop it. Ah, oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about. All right, not looking hot still. Still got a lot of work to go. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm praying. Ah, shoot. If I hit Savage, he gives turn. And if I hit you, we might get a bonus turn. I'm gonna. I don't. I just don't want to give Savage more turn meter. All right, looking okay. Oh, yikes. Yes, gotta get up, bud. Gotta get up, bud. All right, he's getting up. One more stand. She man, Savage, die already, die. This guy just won't go down. He just won't go down. Jeez, still not going down. Still not going down. And yeah, one hit, come on, give me another hit. It's not looking good, y'all. Get rid of it, I can't. I'm stuck behind Savage. And that's why I told you, Savage is a menace. This is what this is prime example why Savage is far more supreme over Wampa. There is no debate about it. You can't do this with Wampa. Yeah, um, shoot, this wasn't even great. I mean, it got HK out. Yeah, um, jeez, man. You need to put my Savage on defense. That's what I've been telling people. There's Savage, if you're not putting Savage on defense, it might be because you're early game. If you're end mid game, put Savage on defense. This literally shuts down so many counters. It's, I, I argue this is almost as good as a Darth Malgus team when you have the full team. The Savage just takes us to a new level. I don't think I'm gonna get through the guy. We might actually have to end up throwing a Galactic Legend at this. Yeah, very little non-GL counters. That's what we were looking at. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get Savage out. That'd be, come on, finish him. All right, that's nice. I don't think we're gonna get through the rest of this. Yeah, Fear's locking us in. Uh, close. All right, maybe we can get you out. Come on, Gas. Let's go! What? No, 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 no. Okay. Yes. Damn it, Bastila! <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. That's not a bad turn of the situation right there. Went from, God, how am I going to clean this up to, all right. Annoying, but I can clean that up. 
Wow. <laughs> that one, just that, that, from, from a span of one play, we made that complete 180. All right. Not bad. <laughs> Holy cow. Freaking A. Savage, man. Uh, I mean, it also helps the HK Kron was really annoying. Double layers of fear at the very beginning. Uh, boy, the ability block and all this other stuff. Yeah. Savage, guys, please. Uh, Savage, I feel like is pretty much a mandatory character to build up if you care about Grand Arena. All right. I'm happy with that turn of the events. Let's go put an easy cleanup in there. Uh, is this an Embo Gang cleanup or is there like an easier gang cleanup? Let's see. Embo Gang, Embo Gang, Embo, Embo Gang. Something that's, you know, you know how Basil is. I think Embo Gang cleanup is probably, no, there's gotta be something a little better. Just a little bit. Ewok, Ewok cleanup, right? Ewoks. Geos, uh, no, Geos are, that's, that's a little too much. I think this could work. I'm gonna laugh at Bass that could sold this entire thing. <laughs> it was a Relic 5 Savage too. Yeah, Savage is just a freaking menace, man. The, the flex blade and offense and defense is just, and a squad arena farm. Not much really compares to that. All right, don't give him anything crazy. Just, I don't know, just, uh, sure. Gains a buff. Okay, just, oh my gosh. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have like no damage here. It's just Bastila, right? It's just Bastila. It's just Bastila. I think we got it. All right. Frickin' A, Ewoks. Get on in there. Let's go. Let's go. Do you guys do single file or is that just a Tuscan thing? Well, anyway, single file. Let's hide our numbers. Let's go. Cup for the DPS. But who do I put? Who do I put? No. Let's not screw around. Bastila, she's got this. She's got this thing out for Cup. I don't want to bring that beef onto the table here. Oh, man. Cup would have had home field advantage. Ah. All right, how do we want to do this? We want to get some tenacity up going, right? Yeah, we probably... Is that, who, who gives the tenacity up? Someone gives tenacity up. I thought. I don't know. All right, misplay, apparently. All right, who, who's got the tenacity up? Is it you? Someone's got a tenacity up. Who's got it? Is it... Is it... Is it Logre? There it is. I, I was going to figure it out eventually. All right, let's see if we can pull back some turn meter. There we go. Holy cow, you guys have, like, no damage right now. Fox, let's go, go, go. All right, just basic, okay. Hit him, let's go. Don't let her get a turn in. No, 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 no. Let's get, come on. There we go, throw up some buffs. Almost the full protection. And are we gonna be? All right, I didn't get it. All right, hey, we got, no, we didn't get it. Screw you, Lugray. Anyways, not bad, not bad. We got through it pretty easy. Clean up, holy cow though. Thank, thanks to gas for that. Okay, well, now we got this, like, big kahuna team. Uh, Michael Rossi, the $5. What, the, what else are you looking forward to most? I'm a soaking and Don the Jedi, 100% up. I'm hitting up Theory tonight if they do a show. Hell yeah! Oh, that's tonight, isn't it? My gosh, it's, I lose track of the days. 100% uh, Ahsoka. Just seeing Thrawn in live action played by the voice actor. It's great that they're doing it justice. And, uh... uh yeah, I'm Don the Jedi... Um, what I want to see, this might be, I know this is not the, 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 the popular opinion. I want to see them try, you know, you know, it's kind of like this. Remember how people are like WTF with the rise of Skywalker, Palpatine coming back and whatnot without any context whatsoever. And now we're seeing with Mandalorian and Bad Batch, they're kind of filling in the gaps. At least that's what we're thinking about Palpatine's return. So I'm hoping that whatever they're doing of Rey moving forward, I'm hoping they do Rey and Finn justice. Kind of whatever, whatever this next era that they're determined to push for. I want people to go back like, oh, okay, well, well with this, this, I can enjoy the sequels more. I, that's a big task. I don't know if that's gonna get resolved, but I'm, I'm looking to see if that challenge, that roadblock that a lot of people had at the sequels could maybe be redeemed uh, to some aspect. I, I also feel like they did Finn really dirty. I feel like Finn was should have had a much bigger story but in the last episode or episode nine they kind of made him into more of a side character maybe that's i don't know, maybe that's the right thing to do with the storyline but i feel like you know they made it very evident like finn was force sensitive or vaguely evident and it's like all right i feel like you know they kind of cut his story short like i, I just it, really i feel like in the sequels the only guy to really come up on top was kylo uh adam driver it's like i feel like they did a good job with kylo's story for the most part so we'll have to wait and see Jedi Knight Finn, yeah, I, I, as long as they show us how they get there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's a big undertaking. But in terms of like, I think I'm maybe I'm setting unreasonable expectations for for that. Um, 
but I, I think at the end of the day, the thing I'm most excited for is the Ahsoka trailer. Like, I was pretty pumped when, the, when they said heir to the Empire. Oh, boy, that was what, uh, what, what goosebumps I had when I, when I heard that. So uh, let's hope, uh, let's hope they do all that justice. Uh, I'm looking forward to Tales of the Jedi. They got another season right coming. Um, Visions was very unexpected. It was an unexpected, um, Visions was unexpected for, at least when I, when I think of Lucasfilm, I think they only want to do things that are like canon and, and seeing Visions like just constantly di diving into a different art style, a different story of some sort, it was really, really cool to see. So I'm glad to see they're bringing that back and kind of that more experimental format of things. Whether or not you like Visions, I think it was cool to experiment in new fun ways. And it wasn't like a focal point of the Star Wars franchise, but kind of like this other thing to appreciate other forms of art. And I like just the, the what was the first episode, the Ronin? And uh, Visions, boy, what a gorgeous episode that was. Anyways, I'm looking at SWH.GG right now, trying to see what the Super Fin team, or Super Sana team, looks like. Let's see, Han. All right. Oh, let's see. Okay, what do we got here? Let's go take a little gander. A little gander real quick. All right, so we got Han, Chewie. Uh, I, do I have Redis? I don't have Redis. We have Grievous. 71% win rate. Doesn't seem horrible. Um, Bad Batch, CLS, Jedi Knight Revan, we do have that. Grievous looking pretty good. Zori yeah, to be expected. Qui Gon. I don't know why. You know, is there an ability block? There's. Well, they have a stun. Uh, you know, I, I just want Qui Gon to pop something. You know what? We're gonna try popping this. Let's go. Let's do it. Ooh, Tuskins. I do have Tuskins. That could be a lot of fun. And it could be a lot of fun. You know, I want to give Qui Gon a pop though. Let's do it. Let's have Qui Gon do some work. Uh, Kadarla Pote, how we doing, buddy? Hey, we got a message from the opponent, Cal. Good luck. Bad RNG on Lord Vader. Ruin my run. So I'm guessing they might be tapped out. Cooldown pulls needed after everywhere. Ha ha ha. No Afra in the top 100 bracket. Oh, you don't have Afra? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, that makes your life complicated because that means you actually have to send in a decent team up against Jabba. Wow. Well, Cal, I don't see him in the chat. Thank you, Kadara Pope, for pushing up their message. Uh, great playing against you. You know, it's not done. You, you never know. Stupid stuff can happen on my side, so don't, 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 don't get yourself down in the gutter yet. It's not over till the final scores on the board, bud. Great having you. I, I didn't even look at uh, your doctor after. Boy, that's uh, that sucks. That sucks to hear. Wow. Well, Cal, good job putting a good fight up, nonetheless. Let's see what this final score looks like at the end of the day. And what's the Qui Gon team I want to pop? Obviously, we don't want to give too much. But we don't want to give too little. Uh, give me Shock T, and I don't know. Give me. Sure, give me. Uh, you know what? Say, I, I sometimes like to use Plo. Yeah, Ela. Ela. All right, let's do Plo for Terminator. Let's do it. Tuskins, though, Arnold. I, I want to use. Uh, I, you know, uh, boy, Tusk. I, I had a really good Tuscan battle this past weekend. Um, but it, it's. I, I don't. Hmm. You know what? Let's do Tuskins. All right, let's go. Tuskins. No, what if there's no if there's a CLS? No, they're not gonna. Have, you know they might have a CLS leftover. You know what? That, I'm, I'm, never mind. I'm re re changing my mind. Back to Qui Gon. Uh, it's just it's like such an RNG fest if we're gonna get the right luck to line up for us. And then yeah, what is it? Just get put Plo in there. All right, and get me something of highest crit damage. Holy cow, Gary, what's going on there? Getting a lot of super chat notifications. Thank you for your patience as I work through this. I got to pick up the change, though. And so if you guys need, like, an immediate response, I recommend just waiting till the very end. I'm going to be a little delayed. We have an hour 10. Technically, the second Grand Arena is not going to look good. The matchmaking has been atrocious this past week on the free-to-play, unfortunately. We might be lucky to get one battle in, but we're in crunch time. So let's go double time it, y'all. Let's go. Relic 8 ETH. <laughs> More like... Oh, it is Relic 8. He's trash. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I need to get Quag on the pull-off win. We keep getting wrecked. Let's go. All right, who are we hitting? All right, not bad. Not bad, not bad. We're not going to pop this yet. Uh, do I want to go for Chewy? Do I want to go for Sana? All this retribution has me a little bit worried. I almost want to get a buff muting on Stormtrooper Han, to be honest. Oh, we have Vandor Chewy for possible revives, huh? Oh, man. All right, you know, I'm just going to do a buff muted here. There we go. Sis, I don't want him taunting. There we go. All right, let's go. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Let's clean up. Let's put a force taunt on Plo. There we go. Uh, now I have no buffs to this spell. That kind of sucks. All right, we're going all in, I guess. All right. All right. We need to get Anakin to pop off here. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Tuscan. Hmm. 
You know, I think we gotta go for Vandor first. Just a counter tech. A little annoying. This is fine. This is fine. Let's just keep pushing. Armor Shred dialed in. All right. Let's just, you know, I kind of just want Kawhi Gun to die. All right. There we go. All right. Let's go on Van B. Almost. Come on. Come on. Just knock him dead right there. Let's go. Hit him back. Come on. Pop him. Pop him. Don't hit me. I can't th th this, this one right here. This one right here, guys. Almost there. You're almost there. There we go. Let's send him on home. Three, two, one. Hit him with the boom. Ah! Only one. That's a problem. Get her out. All right. She's out. Nice, nice, nice. Give it on over to Annie. Get Han out. Boom. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's get this Wookiee out of commission. He's gone. All right. Scary, but manageable. Let's do it. Nice. Nice. You got to just play at the ball a little bit. It juggles. But once you get hands on it, boy, it feels good. Nice job, qui -Gum. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. What's this back wall looking like? I'm guessing some surprises, right? Surprises. Kind of like what I expected. So we have ourselves Lord Vader left over. That's kind of what the meta seems to be. Maul's really good. Why waste it there? This seems like 100% a good Tuscan opportunity. Reva down here. Uh, you know, if we're really trying our luck, hmm. Maybe we could consider bounty hunters. It's just a Darth Vader. If he gets the 100% Terminator, kind of rough. Let's go work on the money. The Let's go work on this. Nah, we probably should work on this south side. And then, all right, let's work on the south side. Let's go throw some Tuscans because I... Yeah, I need some you know, like, no, different song here. No Disney Channel stuff right now. There we go. I need, I need a, bit, a little bit more urgency. A little bit more suspense for the audience. Thank you so much. Going into this, this team takes out a full entire CLS team. Lots of turn meter here. Let's hope we can make it happen. No other Wookiee for the anti-stun on CLS. Let's go, baby. Why BB-8 there? Uh, mostly just to kind of supercharge the droids. They maybe don't have shorty. Uh, I have to check. Uh, what do we want to use here? Um, hmm. I just need to survive. What about just defense? Defense. Dark side tank revival. Eh, 113% defense. All right, let's go for it. All right, 113% defense. Just so we can make sure we survive a few hits. All right, the, the question is, if there's not enough turn meter on this enemy team, it's not going to be great. I'm assuming there will be a lot of turn meter. There's going to be a lot of turn meter. Datacron gives turn meter. Yeah, that gives turn meter. CLS gets turn meter. I think we're going to be good. They have shorty. Oh, yes, they have shorty on Ray. So just doing a hybrid thing, you know, just kind of taking leftovers, combining sometimes cool stuff. Um, I've never been a fan of these like weird CLS leftovers, JTR leftover things. I think it I think it would have just been better having a full CLS team, a full sauna team and a full droid team maximizing teams. Uh, I could be wrong, though. But what I'm not wrong about is that we're about to ride this freaking Bantha right now. Let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Send them on in. Don't come back unless you get away. So we should get massive amount of momentum because of BB at the very beginning. Supercharging us. Like. So, there we go. All right. There we go. Already getting the stuns. C-3PO kind of out in the open. Let's do a buff the spell if we can. Uh, sure. Protection up. Let's go for it. All right. We got to get a nice buff the spell here, hopefully. Uh-oh. Hold on. I believe this can... Uh-oh. This is... um. Oh, I forgot. We probably should have cleared out the force because this won't dispel everyone, right? Oh, it does. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. All right, let's see if we can try to get Commander Luke down. 50. Look at all this momentum. Let's go. Make him hit me back. He's going to get stunned. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my gosh. Game does not like that. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Oh, boy. Okay. Unfortunately, damage over times aren't quite landing as I'd like because of the Datacron on 3PO and Chewie. All right, boy. All right, holy cow. This is why I hate using Tuskets. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> my game's late. Oh God. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> I, I, I'm just, oh shoot, that was a dumb idea. Ah, uh, that was dumb on my part. I, I just, ah, oh gosh. All right, whatever, that's fine. Nope. Hopefully BB-8 dies off here in a moment. Let's go, pop this. Boom, boom, boom! Massive clunk got through just the protection. BB-8's down. Okay, now we gotta keep working through CLS. Come on, baby. All right, slowly but surely get in there clunking away. All right, let's go do this. Yeah, 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 get that cleanse opportunity down there. Oh my, I just feel like this game's gonna crash any second right now. Any second. Oh my, dude. I think I just gotta put this on full auto at this point. 
Oh, dude. All right, come on. Oh, baby. <laughs> come on. Dude, about the spell. Oh, gosh. Ah, stop the counter. Oh, God. It's just, it's just getting really annoying. It's just, uh, dude. I love the Tuskins, but this is the most annoying consequence of them. All right. You know what? Hit the Wookiee over here. Come on. Let the damage over time take him to the grave. Come on. All right. Come on. Basic. Give me the assist. Almost there. All right. Someone's got to be dying off here in a moment. Come on. Almost there. He's got to be gone soon. There we go. He's gone. This is the weirdest team, man. You just sit there and they win in a very slow and painful manner. Almost there. Come on. All right. Uh, big clunk. Clunk, clunk, clunk. And there we go. Holy cow, man. This is the buggiest team in the game. I love it. But not when it's wasting my time. Wow. I'm like sitting here thinking this is going to crash any second now. There's no way this team's going to let me leave alive. All right. Let's keep moving. Good old Reva against this shenanigans. Then, boy, we still haven't used the GL yet. Uh, Anti-revive, pretty standard stuff. I, I've i been noticing I feel like I lose Reva to that data crown, but usually by then I'm already winning. All right. Inquisitors, everyone favorite team from run from hated to even more hated very quickly but hated in a very different way just throw it on auto oh man should i should i should i try and flex i feel like it's gonna bite me in the butt i feel like it's gonna bite me in the butt i almost want to put it on. my only concern is is that i mean i guess i do just as bad they they don't keep track of commander tano's like insta kill and if she hits reva she's not coming back again she's staying in the grave for good Full flex. Oh my gosh. All right. Are, you, are we going to flex? <laughs> All right. Auto and target cat. Well, you're stuck behind Kenobi for but so you can't just like straight up target them. All right. All right. All right. Well, how about if I do a hybrid? We'll do a hybrid situation. I'm going to see if I can try to control this situation. What's the cron? Eh, you know, you don't need the cron. We remember reminder we were beating kenobi without datacron and kenobi had the, their datacron this is just the usual inquisitor stuff whatever torture first you know how it goes let's just send it on in it's not complicated i agree just send it in and hit full auto but i'm i'm the inquisitor i i just I, my brain still can't comprehend that i could full auto this team i just i just can't fathom it oh my gosh and we're on tattooing it's not looking good for kenobi all right all right let's go ahead get that uh, ability block on tano Nicely done. All right, let's just throw this down for right now. Keep popping the damage. Let's go get... Uh, do I want to do this? Nah, just do this for right now. All right. Let's go pop this. Boom, boom. Good stuff. Throw this massive... How much damage? This is always the big hit. 100,000? Ah, pretty weak. I've seen better from you. All right, good stuff. We delayed the inevitable on that force. Whatever insta-kill thing with Bob. And... Just, doesn't really matter honestly it's just just you know do some hits there we go let's go try to get fear on tano we got the fear on tano finish off kenobi oh come on what's this do again it's just target i mean basic speed up right there we go all right on to commander tano next big hit big hit let's see now we're talking hundred thousand oops <laughs> How do I always mess that up? I always seem to screw that up and always get Tano to get the get the free insta kill. All right, let's get through Padme, I guess. Padme's down over here. I always screw it up. I keep thinking that the fear is gonna jack up her cooldowns. Apparently it's not. And I think uh, I, I keep losing track of the cooldowns, but it's fine at this point. We already win this. Uh, I'm telling you, just we got to hit auto and let them just do their thing. Just let him push it. All right, we got some death mark. Let's take full advantage of that, please, and thank you. Come on, baby. All right, fine. Oh, you seriously gonna be that way? You're gonna be this way to me now? You jerk. Come on, let's get in here. <sighs> I always mess things up, don't I? I always seem to mess things up. Let's go, keep working, keep working. And now, you know, this actually is the first battle I actually feel like I might not be able to get through. All right, we're not getting through this here. Whoopsie daddle. I think we just got to start hitting auto. There we go. Do it again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> go for hit him. 
<laughs> this bro is trying to carry this all on his own. Keep going, man. You got this. All right, not bad. Oh, that's my first time losing a three. I, you guys, you know, next time I'm just hitting auto. I'm willing to admit, even though I'm the greatest mobile gamer of all time, the king of triple B, there's just some weird magic. We're on full auto. The Inquisitors play better than me. That's just, uh, I know I'm afraid of my own power, Grand Inquisitor. Next time, just hit auto. They just get the job done. Somehow I was able to full auto non-Datacron versus Datacron Kenobi. And now with the Datacron, I somehow still screw that up. All right, yeah, we need the, guys, I think we need the buff Reva a little bit more. Uh, inexcusable, inexcusable. I think Wampa can solo that. Uh, but do I need Wampa for anything else? Wampa's kind of on the bench. Ooh, we got to use Admiral Trench for something today. Yeah, this is, none of this is very Wampa friendly. So I said, let's just send into Wampa real quick for the Kenobi cleanup. Don't you dare suck. And do I need Wampa for anything else? Nah, yeah, unfortunately, Wampa's kind of dead for me. It's, a, it's kind of a dead team, but I was... I'm assuming there's gonna be a day where it's gonna be a little bit more helpful. Let me, where's that weird data crown that has like the, yeah, there we go. Let's go for it. Money on Kenobi. Ah, uh, well, keep in mind, it's a 1v1. Wampa gets extra bonuses in a 1v1 type of showdown. They also have this really bangerific song. Wampa can't beat Kenobi, what? What? I know we have no turn meter. Oh, come on. Why do you guys have to come in our facts? Like, these are the same people who say Wampa's the best. And they're like, Wampa can't. Then what can Wampa beat? What can Wampa beat at this point? Is Wampa just literally a trophy collecting dust? No. I'm setting it in there. I got nothing else for it. I'm going for it. I got it. This guy's got to do something because she's just sitting around, not doing anything except eating my food and not giving me any wins. Get in there. I don't care. We're going in there. Let's go. Three, two, one. Give him some hype. We're not gonna get any turn meter. It's gonna be a problem, I know, but screw it. I have no other use for this character. Go for the leg. Don't let him get the high ground. You'll be fine. All right, Kenobi starting off. All right, it's fine. That's fine. We gotta get our both protection up. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm guessing hit full auto. Hope for the best. Come on, prove him wrong. I believe in you. I believe they don't. Come on. All right, they're gonna hit the high ground. I told you, don't let them do it. You let them do it. All right, here's where we're gonna kind of smack us back and forth. Just keep ramping, girl. Just keep ramping. You're good. There we go. She's hungry. Let's go, honey. You're looking good. There we go. Damage over time. Chip it away, 73,000, 72. Come on, prove them wrong. You're not completely useless. Not to me yet. No, 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 no. Yeah, girl, let's do it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you. I'm not gonna step in yet. I'm not going in yet. Nicely done. Almost down. Come on, honey. Oh, no, no. I'm going in. I'm stepping in. There we go! I believed in you! They did it! I did it! What did you say? He's out. He's holding me back. They're just jealous! They're one -on -one. They're I'm happy. You're happy. We're all happy. All right. All right. All right. This battle. Freaking hey, man. This this Terminator data crown really is rough. Because uh, Vader gets like five bajillion turns. I, I kind of want to. You know what? I kind of want to. It sounds like Cal maybe tapped out. I would love. I mean, we could just send Kylo. But I, I want to. I want to take advantage of this. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. We like to put in. What do I want to put in there? Give me my boy Mando. Give me my boy Grief. Give me my boy Boss. Give me a little bit of Zam. I don't think we need Beskar. Man, it's just surprisingly Vader gets the turn meter. I always think he's not. Let's see, fifty six eighty one. Vader's gonna. What was it fifty six? Okay, so yeah, it's so odd to see Vader. Vader used to be like one of the tankiest characters in the game, like early game, early days. So the issue is here. Vader goes first. Does the forest crush? He manages to get another turn in, and then he just runs a circle. And then usually I lose people. Yeah, Vader. It's just weird 
My, like, in my mind, I want I, I want to believe Thrawn should go first, right? No, Vader's the one that goes first here. Uh, yeah, so I want to waste this opportunity. All right, let's go for it. Now, what do I need? I did beat this the other day, but it was very sketchy. Vader going five bajillion turns and going to Merciless. The thing is, when he goes Merciless, we're in trouble then. All right, let me see. What do we want to bring? Um, I think I have one of those. Yeah, maybe use this. Armor penetration. I think this is what I used last time. Yeah. Unless you want this. Potency health. Health isn't really great with damage over time. I'm going to go for it. Still waiting on that Lord Ritter versus Ness video. As I said, I don't know when I'm going to do that because I want to make my own song. Because anytime I use other people's songs, they say it's copyright free, but then it's not. It's, it's getting really annoying with how... Like, huh, gotcha! I, I I lied, and then I like every day I'm like I'm getting rid of like ten copyright claims on videos that were supposed to be copyright free, royalty free, and now they changed their mind. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I know I'm waiting too, Ethan, but I I want to wait. I have other projects I'm working on. Uh, but I'm gonna get I want to get around today, venture for fun. Yeah. Anyways, let's go, bounty hunters. Don't suck. Let's go. Big shot. I mean, if you suck, I don't blame you. This they're kind of cheating a little bit. You know, they're gonna get a bajillion turns. As long as Fennec survives after Vader does a bajillion turns, I think we'll be fine. Fennec's special damage, I just, I don't care. Let's just go. It has some armor pedants, whatever, special. Screw Datacrons, send them in. We'll figure out the rest. I'm not browsing my Datacrons right now. All right, Vader goes first. He goes, and then this is the problem in a moment. That's what sucks. Uh, yeah, that's what sucks. It's unnatural. I don't even think it's any, I mean, maybe I can get into the kill. Yeah, it's not looking hot. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not. I mean, if I, I'm going to see if I can try to get an insta kill off at least. Maybe can get an insta kill off, perhaps. Let's just do a basic. All right. We just got to get him to one more turn. We can insta kill someone as long as we keep this on us. Let's just pop this. All right. Just, he's probably going to die from damage over time. Oh, gosh. All right. I don't know. We're going to back out the second we lose. Actually. Hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. Let's just keep going. Let's keep doing this right now. Yeah, we might just have to bring in Kylo. Just one more turn. Come on. One more turn, Mando. Just one more turn. It's all I need. Hit that guy. All right, Mando. Come on, Mando. Come on, Mando. Yeah, he's not going to get the turn. Oh, right, yeah, back out of that one. Yeah, that's the issue. It's just that uh, Vader, like, it's so weird. Like, I always think, oh, no, it's going to be Thrawn that goes first. No, it's Vader that goes first, and he does all that stuff. Yeah, 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 it's annoying. I pulled it off last time, but it's very sketchy. Depends. If Vader would call someone else, we'd be fine, but he went right for the money right away. Is Maul with Lord Vader dead? It's not that it's dead. It's just you're going to get better bank per buck just putting Maul on an, its own team. Maul's not really, it's not a Maul problem. It's a Lord Vader problem. Maul's fantastic, but... It's not like increasing Lord Vader's performance by that much more. Yeah, he gets a faster ulti, but... And I think right now the data crons is pretty favorable. Probe Droid, all that term meter gain that they're getting, it makes it pretty favorable for Lord Vader to kind of part ways of Maul a little bit. Because why would... Why need Maul when Vader's gonna do what he just did there? Take five bajillion turns. All right, let's go. Let's, um... Yeah, Superior Kylo, First Order. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta finally bust out a GL, don't we? All right, no, 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 no. So here's the thing that I was really hoping to try out some trench stuff. I don't know what I'm going to use trench on, honestly. So, um, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be that sad. Yeah, I was going to say, oh, maybe we can yeah, try something out. Oh, we don't have armor. That's going to be a complication. I put armor on defense. Well, okay. That is a complication. I mean, we don't need armor, but it's a lot nicer having armor. So what we could do, I guess, is uh, we throw in a little bit of officer... In there, and then we do our Night Sister cheese. It's gonna get a little bit more complicated. And now I'm probably gonna regret not saving Bounty Hunters for the inevitable cleanup that's gonna happen here. Let me see. Do we need it? Yeah, yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It would be nice. All right. Let me see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we get? What do I want? Offense likely to help Kylo. Mmm, Droidica. Am I gonna use Droidica? Probably not. 23% offense. Let's go for it. Let's do it. You know, I know you don't need armor, but it makes it a lot safer. You know, we've done a plenty of times of armor, but it is nice having the extra protection generation, the anti-critical hits. It is quite nice. Anyways, Kylo, don't suck. First order officer, it'll give you a couple extra turns in there. Let's do it, baby. Send it on in, honey.
And let's pull it off! How's the clock looking? Less than 50 minutes. Pff, more than enough time. More than enough time to handle what we gotta do. All right, pass over to this folk. There we go. Vader's gonna go first. And then we're gonna just pass this on over here. Uh, let's go do the pokey poke right now. Pokey poke. All right. And now we get to do this. I like that. Nicely done. Unfortunately, ooh, Darth Vader's probably gonna do his thing. And here he goes. Yeah, that data crown's really nasty. It's nasty. Here we go. And probably gonna lose our officer. Thank you for your assistance in this matter. I don't know if you were that helpful, but I'm not gonna complain. Over to Daka. All right. Watt Tambor. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Stay. Just, you know, just, just I, I, would, I could use the moral support, Watt. If you wanna stay, I'm not gonna be mad. Let's heal up Daka a little bit. Nicely done. Okay. All right. Watt Tambor. Let's go drop a stun on this fool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Everyone's got a couple stuns. You did your job. Let's go hit that. All right, still sticking around. What, I didn't even check. What's on this Datacron stat-wise? Extra defense. All right, nothing <laughs> more absurd beyond the usual. <laughs> All right, he's going after baby Kala. Uh, uh, uh. Let's just keep doing basics here. Keep charging up that ultimate. Luckily, no Maul on the team makes it a little bit easier. Don't have to worry about Maul pile driving us. And let's go pop it. Three, two, one. Chip on. Stun back on. Boy, another turn. I'll take it. All right, slowly ramp up the full ultimate. And give me a stun there, please. Nah, I got resisted. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right, come on. All right, fracture take it. Ooh. Uh, okay, that's fine. I think, right? Ooh, damage over time is worried because we won't get all the revives. And do basic. Come on, honey. Ooh, boy, scary stuff. As long as Daka does not die from damage over time. Ooh, this concerns me. Probably not going to get Daka back. Yeah, we're not going to get her back now. Oh, well, let's go nosedive it into the ultimate. Here we go. There we go. Vader's finally dead after forever. Let me uh, keep doing something. You know what? Um, nah, do AOA. Keep ramping. One more AOA. Should hopefully get through that Thrawn. Finally, do it again. Come on, Thrawn. There we go. He's finally out of the picture. Let's go siphon off this Royal Guard now. All right. Nine sister down for the count. And now this is when I really wish I had armor. Armor would make this like final stand a little bit safer in this regard. We don't have her. Sucks to suck. Keep on ramping, baby. We're looking good. Lord Vader kind of windling down, but it's all good. All right, now down to the 1v1. Boy, oh boy, let's hope we don't need that extra little bit of love in me down because Kylo Ren's the best! <laughs> Give it up. Give it up. That's what I'm talking about. That's what a proper galactic legend looks like, y'all. <laughs> Easy, easy, mana, hana. Let's go ahead over to that north side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking a. Was that six? Was that six million? Oh, well, hold on, hold on. We need it. We need a re, uh, ref check. Can you have the ref go out there and check? Was that six mil or was that six hundred? I hope that was six mil. It's a, it's a, it's a cooler number to flex. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? At? It's, a, it's, a, it's a cooler number. To flex. It is a cool number to flex. But let me go back and check it out, baby. Ah, uh, it was only six hundred fifty. Um, I don't know, man. I've seen better from you. Yeah, that was only 657,000. Uh, I would not want to brag to my mama about that, let me tell you. All right, let's go work on over here. All right, so we still got to get through this zone more or less. Let's hope we run into minor complications at best. Star Killer, always a bit of a scary battle, but we usually come up on top. Usually is the key, key word in this calculation. Usually come up on top. I would hope we do not have to rely on Master Luke to do this battle because. The dude's on rough times, man. No wonder why he flood up the Oct 2. I don't blame him. All right, bring out you, bring out you, and then this is always up for debate, but I guess we don't have Plo, so we're bringing in Mace Windu. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. And uh, we have this Datacron. All right. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, I'll talk about it in a video later this week. But yeah, there's a level six for resistance where when you crit him, I think they get 100% critical void. It was like impossible to get inspiration off rate. Really scary stuff. Really, really scary, but let's hope that we can bring the pain and we can be just as scary, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just, I'm just, I'm just gonna enjoy it for a few more seconds. L337 being the most annoying person on this team. <sighs> I hate L3. It really annoys the living daylights out of me. Oh my gosh, I have Dr. Afra still. Oh well. Worst comes to worst, we'll figure something out. All right. All right, baby, let's go. All right, so we go first, and we have to go into you. All right, man, it's just they waste my time. That's all this thing does. All right, buff the spell, nice. Throw out some shocks. 
All right, good stuff. I uh, didn't get it on them, unfortunately. On to Ray we go. Let's go. We got to get this buff the spell, please. Uh, just keep pushing on Ray. Come on, buff the spell. There we go. Buff the spell coming in. Boom. Nicely done. Let's start working on an inspiration. Another crit in the bag. All right. Shorty coming in, being annoying too. And we're stuck. No, dude, buff the spell, this garbage. All right. Back over on Ray. Let's go. Get that up. All right, here we go. Let's get her in yellow before she takes a turn. Please, please. Oh, come. I hate when that happens. I literally loathe when that happens. All right, we're going to have to go through an ultimate, unfortunately. It is what it is. All right, at least get her into damage before ultimate, please. Thank you. Really annoying. All right, over on Ben. Come on. Get, no, get him into yellow. All right, into yellow they go. Uh, boy, I don't, boy, do I want to, I, I think I kind of want to, I, I want to say this after Alta, but I'm also worried about Windu. I mean, we can always bring him back, right? Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I think. Ah, uh, I'm going to do a buff the spell for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull it, I'm going to save it. It's, I, I want to use it right now. There we go. That was a good hit on Varus. Not mad about that. All right, let's get Shorty into the yellow. All right, everyone's in yellow except for this. Boy, she has the VIP. That's kind of odd. All right, a little odd. All right, we got to get that inspiration off of Ray. I'm just going to do this to hope like it. I probably was a little too early on the uh, buff the spell on Starkiller. My bad. 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 It's all good. It's all good. Um, I have a feeling we're probably going to lose. All right, I'm hoping that I can. I feel the revive. Visus, hopefully we'll get a turn. Uh, just do a shock over here. We're going to get a shock on Barris now. Shock on the Barris. There we go. Stop her from getting turn meter. All right, try again. There we go. All right. Let's go, baby. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. I'm waiting for you now. Waiting on you. Waiting on you. Uh, it's last chance. All right, I'm just going to do this. Let's just go basic. All right. Probably. Oh, wow. He's still around. I'm not mad. All right. Let's try to get Ben out into the yellow. All right. Nicely done. Come on. Pull it out of the sky. We this, one, this one, I need to pull it out of the sky moment. Here we go. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Come on. Ben, let's go. Not Ben. Whatever your name is. Star Killer. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's uh, do it. Doesn't matter. Just do this right now. Just go, 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 go. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, I still have not pulled this out of the sky yet. All right, just put her down. All right, okay, come on, Star Killer. Holy crap, dude! I need you to get a turn in, dude. Star Killer, bro, bro, just get a turn. Oh my god, dude! I just need Star Killer to get a turn. All right, just finish her off. All right, I'll take it. Gosh, that was uh, unnecessarily annoying, and I still gotta get through it. I gotta get through Spirit Part. Let's go. Pull it out of the sky. Yes, 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 yes. Only took you forever. I only took you forever, bro. It's fine. I'm not mad at you. I'm just slightly disappointed it took you that long, but it's all good. This is actually looking like full banners. This is looking like a potential full banner scenario right now. All right, we just got to get around the stealth. Windu will take care of that in a moment. In a moment. In a moment. <laughs> Windu. <clears throat> Windu. <laughs> what did I tell you? I told you at the very beginning, I'm not worried about the rate. I'm worried about freaking L3, literally wasting my time, wasting my life, counterattacking up the freaking wazoo. We still got to get her in damage immunity. I have a, how much you want to bet? I'm going to have to do like a second battle to clean this up. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, I, I think I just got to expect. We got to do a clean up here. It's just, it's a, put, put, just put on full auto. Just put on full auto. Holy cow, man. Oh, now I got to right, go over here. All right. Come on, L3. Let's take a turn. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude. Bro. And I, I think we're going to have to do a second battle here. All right. You know, uh, let's just get Ben down. All right. Get Ben down. Oh boy. Do I dare? Yeah. All right. Just go. Come on. Go. No, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. 
L3 is just a mega troll character. That's all they're doing. Whatever we got through the rest. I just, oh gosh, such an annoy. It's the most annoying part of the whole entire raid team. Ah, uh, very last moment. Could have finished there. Nah, I'm not. How about no? All right, well, screw you. Well, luckily, another one of those easy, weird cleanups. No Datacron uh, or no shorty for the spare parts. Holy cow, man. Uh, all right, get me something semi. Oh, gosh, she's just going to annoy the daylights out of me. Um. All right, you know what? Let's just handle her last. I just, I don't want to think of it right now. All right, we need to do Imperial Troopers on. Oh, we can't do Imperial Troopers here. Um, <laughs> Man, I really want to take advantage of Trench. I really do. I just don't trust him anywhere. Geo's Throw 3, yeah, most likely. But I, you know, I was thinking maybe I could do like... Like, I just want to use... You know what? What? Are, you know what? I don't, mm, I don't have Wat Tambor. Wouldn't it be fantastic if somehow... I think it's unlikely without Wat Tambor. But what if I could make Trench? Like, this would be pretty dope, right? If we can make Trench... Uh, what am I missing? Uh... New? Oh, Count Dooku. I don't have him either. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, never mind. Boy, this it's such a weird character to work with. Nah, never mind. Scratch that. That would have been kind of nice. Yeah, we're missing Count Dooku. All right. Well, I guess the question is, where do I use my Dr. Aphra? I'm inclined to say maybe use it on this team, right? Cooldown increases and then Master Luke. There's, no, there's not really any major fear concern. I'm guessing they have a tank revive. No, they have the turn meter. Okay. All right, let's do this. Master Luke here. I don't know. Let's do uh, Dr. Aphra here. Let's go for it. I think, right? Hopefully, no problems. Minor complications at best. Give me some Dr. Aphra loving. And then get me you, you. No, 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 no. BT is, they're kind of the star of the show right now. And then get me Dengar. And then we'll throw in B2 for the funsies of it all. Dengar, throw in a little bit of B2. And that should be all I need, right? Man, it really sucks. I was really hoping to maybe do something with... Um, what does um b -b 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 trench today? Yeah, no what, no Dooku. I'm not sure what I can do with it. All right, we'll use that for the L3 cleanup. Worst case scenario, I don't got time to dig for the song, so we're just gonna do it. Let's go. Send it on in. Hopefully, no issues. I, I guess we'll find out. Spy for Dooku, but the point of the point of the whole what the trench team is it's calling out Dooku for crazy. It's calling out Watt for crazy stuff. Yes, the Genosians work, but not to the same level i think i mean i can maybe throw in a sage i mean there's ways of going about it there we go pop that uh do basic let's do double cooldown increase let's go for it there we go that's slowing down for a little bit they don't reset cooldowns right yeah they're not resetting cooldowns i think all right bring out a friend here we go bring a friend to work day all right b2 open up that third eye nicely done no vandor to worry about hmm do i want to is this hondo cron it's hondo cron you know what? I, I'd say let's not screw around. Let's just kind of go for the guy. There we go. All right, they're getting their bonus turns. This is where we just got to be a little careful. Hopefully B2 gets in here in a moment. There we go. B2 getting in there. All right, that's fine. All right. Hondo's kind of starting to elude us. Let's just get Dash out. Go for it. Come on. There we go. Cooldown increase coming. And down they go. All right. Let's see if we can try to... There we go. All right, let's get in there. I, just, I don't want Honda to get it too far ahead of us here. There we go. Send it. And there we go. Nicely done. Basic over there. Fireworks! Hi. Thank you. There we go. Nicely done. 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 Okay. All right. JTR. All right, let's worry about that last. Let's go for Malgus here. Master Luke should be good enough, I believe. Jedi, I'm not screw around. Just let's send the full party. And last slot, oh man, what do I want to put in the last slot? I guess Hermione. I guess. I wish I had Windu. Yeah, not having Windu is actually kind of concerning. I think we're gonna be fine. Eat cough. No, let's not let's not goof around on this place. I, I don't want to goof around here. Give me something of protection. And I'm just hoping that we don't run into a problem with Malgus at the very end. 22% protection, best I got. Let's go for it. Are you doing free to play today? I'm gonna do one battle. I, I mean we'll see. 
I'm just telling you, all my Grand Arena this week have been up against six GLs. They just, they, they fall out of my teams. Uh, it's unfortunate kind of an off week for the free to play. Not much we can do about it. That's just how it is. When you're doing so good, they're eventually going to pair you up with some really bonker rosters. Ah, uh, but we'll get there when we get there. This is the more important Grand Arena between the two. The other one's fine, but this one's kind of more important because it's, it's the one that kind of keeps up where the game's going. Anyways, we'll get there when we get there. Less questions, more domination. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. Get them in there. I kind of just want to make sure once we once we get through the rest i'll put on a full auto likely all right set the assassin going all right let me get some terminator on my side all right set the assassin's pretty nasty man all right all right come on let me okay dude. all right yes we'll get a turn eventually i'm gonna go for uh larry first let's just go for it nicely done drop it we gotta make sure we're doing all the shenanigans Ooh, kind of want to go for talon but unfortunately don't got time for that Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, let's get this taunt off of you. Actually, that's fine. Over here we go. All right. And um, just give the Yoda. Let's see if we can maybe steal that retribution. And I'll give it to the whole team. Give that over here. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Steal that. Town's gone. All right. Well, almost there. Almost there. Let's give it over to Luke. Taunt's coming off. On the Sith Assassin we go. Over back to Luke. There we go. She gone. And then we can just put an auto in a moment. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Let's keep getting there. We go. Get rid of you. All right. And let's just hope that they can figure this out. All right. Yeah. The problem is without Windu, we're not reducing their stats nearly. But it seems like they're handling it. it. Seems like they're handling it right now. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Come on. No. 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 No healing. Get that buff immunity on. All right. Let's go. Play some ball. There we go. Keep pushing. There we go. Keep dropping it. Keep reducing that max health when you can. Let's get back in the yellow. Maybe feel good. You got me a little scared when Malgus is still above and beyond. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting uh, in the yellow, y'all. In the yellow. There we go. Let's keep pushing, though. There we go. Almost there. Oh, I probably... Uh, I knew they were going to do that. I knew they were going to do that. I knew they were going to do that. Let's uh, just try not to get any debuffs on them. All right. Just come on. There we go. Just keep giving. No, 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 no. Uh, you know, everything has debuffs. Just go for it. All right. Come on. Just someone with no debuffs, preferably. There we go. Pass it over to the. There we go. Almost there. I just don't trust them on their own. Hey, come on. There we go. Luke. There it is. Nicely done. Could have went for the full banners. Too much of a chicken and too short on time. All right. Next up. Kind of a little anti imperial trooper ish with Nest. I mean, worst case scenario, we just pick it apart, clean up Ness later. Yeah, but I would ideally like to one-shot it. Maybe we could just send in Hux. Send in Hux, we outrun him, gun down Finn. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do, let's do first order time, baby. Give me a little bit of you. We need a stun, need some damage. Give me my, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that should be good enough. All right. EB to the 199, coming up the loot. Good old Luke, you can never be mad at the guy. Well, okay, you could be mad at him, but you still gotta love him. All right, see you around, buddy. All right, let's go, send it on in. Let's go fire around this base. Uh, please and thank you, Gary, please. Gary, I'm gonna say it one more time, please. And you know what, no, screw you. I'm gonna play something else. Let's go for it. All right, let's go. Send it on in, go for Finn, deal with Ness later. Hopefully Ness, uh, maybe I should've brought in Kylo for healing unity. I don't know. Hindsight's 50 50. All right. Let's go. Send it. There we go. Here you go. Oh, boy. All right. We're kind of tearing this team a new one. Basic. Boom. Let's finish him up. Uh, yeah. Pop some turn meter. Pop her off. There we go. She gone. All right. Hey, come on. Now, now you're being dirty. That was supposed to be my turn. I'm just letting you know that was supposed to be my turn, Poe. Kind of a jerk move on your part. Just saying. Okay. And. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll have to deal with Nest in a bit. Hopefully, we got the stuns locked in. There we go. Three, two, one. Pop it. Lo just do basic. Don't want to pull back turn meter. And do that. Whatever. There we go. A little good dodge. And oh, there we go. Nicely done. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's go clean up that L3. Hey, you know what? No, I appreciate the Polynesian spa. I always do. But I think we got to get trench. <laughs> the first time using trench in offense. Not the most glorious thing to use them for. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Trench. Ah, uh, man. Mm. Uh, yeah, having a hard time finding a a good home for him. And uh, you know, it's, you know, put in 
Jiu and I mean, Asajj, yeah, spy. Let's go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what do you want, bud? You want this? Give, give me something of offense for Django. Sure, seven percent. Take it. Take it. All right, go, go, go. All right, let's see. Can L3 withstand the full entire force of the Separatist might? Oh, here we go. Time will tell. And let's go. Come on. Okay, that was all right. You can cut the song now. There we go. That's the song. <laughs> <laughs> all right there we go take it to the bank i think we could probably stop there and maybe move on oh we gotta do a ship battle or two okay mm, and then we can go free to play see how things are always come on tdc time is it time for some td freaking c it's time for some td to the freaking c y'all let's do it we're gonna do a quick battle see if we have enough points do free to play try our best despite the odds uh, against us but dun, 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 dun. Well, that's just the way it is the things will never be the same yeah. that's just the way it is things will never be the same that's just the way it is oh yeah Team is locked in and ready. Getting a fresh batch of mama spaghetti. Hit me with it. All righty. The Empire. Let's do it, boy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I love this battle. I love this team. Let's go. Yep, let's do it. Let's go, baby. Crank it up. Are you quiet? Oh, no, I'm just getting started. All right. All right, hopping into battle. We got to go for IG-88 first. Oh, sound effects, please. Thank you. Basic. All right, not quite down. We're going to get a bunch of turn meter. Someone's going to die. Wow, great dodges. I'll take it. TDC! TDC! Oh, Defender coming in for the carry. Down for the count. All right, going for Xanadu Blood next. I don't need anyone else. I, you guys got I can't wait to show you the ship battle from this week that we missed together. We literally did a 1v7. I'm not even kidding, a TIE Defender. There we go. There we go, all in over here. Let's uh, do up the spell. Nicely done. God dang, I love this team. How does this feel more Conquest-like than the side? I have no idea. All right, that's fine. We don't need him anyways. Bring out the last friend. Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> Where's the hounds too? Bring them out. Come on. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. You know what? Stun them. Ow! Lock them in. Just lock them in place. All right, here comes the hounds too. A little late. <laughs> what the hell, man? Why are you still bugged? They keep ignoring my tie defender. My gosh, CG, your game is so buggy lately. All right. I'm talking about basic go for it honey <laughs> nice dodges basic let's go finish it up finish it up three two one <laughs> give it up give it up 69 that's how we do yo that's how we freaking do it around this guy we empire that looks like to be the win we'll let it sit for a minute we'll come back let's handle some free to play and maybe we'll knock out a few more ship battles yeah 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 come on over Yeah, it's not gonna be a good grand arena. Literally, my whole entire week on the free to play was this and this and this. Uh, and when you're playing up against people that have over two times your GP, triple your GLs and the other stuff, yeah, you can't only do so much up against them. So it's gonna be a little sad, but we're gonna do our best, knock out a few battles, try and see what we can make happen. Thank you, William Devolis. Would've wanted to deny all your content the highlight of my week. You know, I can't express how amazing that is. I, that means a lot to me. That's the highlight of my week. It's the highlight of my month. Again, William, I want to emphasize that you guys make everything possible. So I'm glad that I can be the highlight to some minor extent to your week. Thank you so much, William, for the kind words. And everyone else who's still waiting, don't you worry. I'll we'll do our usual catch at the very end. He, they just caught my eye at the right second. So 
There's only so much I can do, guys. Um, yeah, when you have Kenobi Cat and you have all these other GLs, I'm kind of SOL. Um, I mean, I could try my best to work out a Sith Eternal thing, but I have a feeling it's likely not going to work out. But we'll put our best foot forward, see what I can do. So probably what I'm going to do here is, boy, it's just, yeah, it's not... Uh, yeah, the, here's the thing. In order for me to pull this off, like even try, I need to pull from several teams and then I'm not gonna have anything else for the rest of it. So it's just, uh, that's just how the matchmaking works. Not much you can do about it, except cry, complain in the corner and uh, hope for the next grand to be more in your favor. Um, we can try bringing in talent. It's, uh, it's like, no matter what I bring in, maybe some, it's like at this point, here's the thing. I can try my best to beat this team. But whatever I come up with, it's going to eat away from my other teams. And that's the problem. You need armor fist. Yeah, and armor is nice. I mean, I've done it without armor in the past. But yeah, it's, if you're doing it without armor, you're really going for a Hail Mary. And unfortunately, one, they programmed the Kenobi team to go after armor. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, I don't have her quite geared up. So she would die instantly. Uh, I don't want to just say let's roll over and just give up. <laughs> I'm going to try something. Um, we could try. Yeah, it's just the... Uh, yeah, it's just it's not uh not looking good uh, i'm like i'm wondering if maybe savage well savage is just gonna get insta killed right away so it's kind of dumb in that regard they're just wasting for that i mean i can bring you know it's only gear 12 though see might kill cat yeah but i don't think i have a cleanup crew for kenobi i might i'm, I'm likely gonna get someone killed but I, I don't think i have a good cleanup solution afterwards yeah i i don't think we have a yeah i mean i don't know if talon's worth the the effort here I, she's not gonna give me term meter and likely she's gonna die um yeah it's just not gonna be good doc because I, mean, I don't got said i don't got the guys remember free to play three something million i don't have every single team and character out there yeah it's, 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 it's uh, yeah um i don't know do i happen to have let's see what's my i'm just curious i doubt i have it hmm we don't have zam let me just like Oh gosh, yeah, this is. Um, I'm guessing they probably have appropriate speeds on this team. 306. I mean, if I had Zam, maybe I could like shoot Tano down. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know. You need Aura Sing. That's not gonna work at all. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Let's not overthink it. There's not much I can do here. I just gotta do it. Who's a reliable non geo counter to SO care? Uh, Slippy Steve, you, that, that's the beauty about Supreme Leader Kyle Red, which is why I highly recommend it for people. Cause it's not something that's very easily beaten without Datacrons, without Galactic Legends, and without some big key characters. The, the, the number one is the Jedi Knight Raven with Jedi Knight Luke, but you have to have the right relic levels, the right speeds dialed in. Uh, the other way is Starkiller, sort of. That's kind of if you need the right team and it's kind of a tough battle and it's that's still technically a legendary. So, and then the other one is, no, Dr. F doesn't work without Datacron. So you really only have like, kind of like two options to really work through the guy in terms of non-Datacrons, non-GL, Starkiller, and Jedi Knight Revan. And that's why it's great. You know, not a lot of ways to beat him. All right, guys, I'm going to stop delaying this. Let's just rip it off. See what we can do with all this. Uh, get you in there. And then maybe, um, yeah, I just don't know how to put in this last slot. Um... Yeah, you know, if we're already giving up Geno's, might as well put another, another, yeah, gosh, it's, it's not going to work out. Krennic, it, it literally, it's just, it's just, it's just snack food, whatever I put in this last slot. Uh, sure, put Krennic. Not really going to matter. Actually, you know, put a Sith in there just in case, you know, might be able to heal up. There's just a lot of healing immunity, which is kind of a problem. All right. Best of luck, guys. I don't blame you. We don't really have the right toys to handle a... Nero top of the line Kenobi, but you know what? We're going to just do what we can. Let's go for it. Did you do gas mask deck? That's what we're doing right now, my friend. And it's probably going to be a very fast Grand Arena. I'll show you what I did last Grand Arena. I literally just said, one battle, I'm done. Yeah, there's just no win conditions against these rosters we're fighting this past week. Want over talent? Ah, crap. Damn it. All right, well, now for sure we're going to lose this. Damn it. I got distracted. Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to lose this 100%. Oh, well, it went from, it was going to be a 90% chance of loss. Now it's 100% chance of loss. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah no. Ahsoka's faster ultimate, but I, you know, just F it. Just link her up. Let's get the ultimate. Jeez. Uh, all right. 
There goes that. I don't know. Sure, ability block. All right, uh, that's not gonna do anything, but go for it. Hey, you got something. All right, there we go. Yeah, we're just getting creamed left and right right now. Bring the tank back. Come on, so get some assist. The, the, the whole reason why I linked is you got a faster chance of charging me up. You're taking a long time. Basic. Wow, already hitting high ground. Oh, halfway high ground, okay. All right, tank gone. Fast Lagon. Come on, ultimate. Let's go ultimate charge. Me. Come on. Uh, just do basic. Can't do anything with the health. Sorry, bud. All right. Well, then this is where things start going down south very quickly. Best of luck, bud. I'll put you on the 1X. Send you on your way. It's probably not going to look good on you. <laughs> Don't worry. Even if I had Watts on board, this was not going to work. It was just not going to work. All right, let's go. And... Yeah, that's kind of it, yeah. Not much I can do. 100% dead in the water, yeah, no chance. Uh, yeah, you really need armor, you really need a better Genosium Brood, which I do not have, and let's be realistic, I need Genosium Brood for its own team, and we just, yeah, I mean, there is just a lot. It's Again, remember guys, I mean, everyone's lost Grand Arenas, and especially for free-to-play people, it's designed intention to work against. You can go as far as you can, but eventually, if you're doing very well, which we were, you're going to get matched up with these big rosters, and you just can't do anything about it. You kind of just got to kind of roll over and play dead for the most part. Uh, like here, here is my last opponent. I just said, um, what am I going to do? They have a bunch of stuff on defense. I think they're what we had. We had a SLKR Star Killer, and they had something else. They full autoed me. It's like I don't have a one shot. I didn't have a one shot Star Killer or Supreme Leader Kyle Ren counter. So I just did one battle. I was like, eh, all right. I'm not going to waste my brain cells on this. I took out a Ray, though. So, all right, cool. Um, then the, yeah, this was, what was this one at? This one had, yeah, this one is also, yeah, multiple, yeah, four plus, four GLs and all the other usual shenanigans in between. They had the Malgus, they had the Star Killer. Don't have enough to keep up with that. And then the, the one from a couple days ago, kind of the same drill. Yeah, this one is definitely a more reasonable-ish one. I think this one we... Yeah, what happened here? I think this one we almost got through. This is the most... It was funny. It didn't get more reasonable as we went down. It got more difficult. The GP was going up as we were losing battles. Yeah. Uh, I think here we almost got... It was a Supreme Leader Kyle Ren, right? No, what happened? Oh, the, the freaking dodge. The freaking dodge on this team. We were going to... We actually could have probably won this one. Uh, all we had to do was just not get dodged. They dodged, and that all went to hell pretty quickly. So that was a little frustrating uh, as well. Yeah, so it's just that... It's just a matchmaking week. Just a matchmaking week. It's unfair, but that's it's it's people always say, is there something broken? No, it's unfortunate. That's just how it is. So all I tell people is if you have a small account, the thing to tell yourself is, damn, I must be really good. If I can take my GP and they gotta match me with someone of two, three times more GP with way more galactic legends and all the other big toys, it's a competition to yourself. It's intentionally designed to make it so for folks out there, you're gonna lose at some point. And you know, it's about 50-50, right? You're gonna lose 50%, you're gonna win 50%. Yeah, and you can maybe get to like 60 plus percent, but yeah, it's impossible to get 100% win rate. Um, free to play. But hey, let's go hop over to the main account. Let's just do a few more battles over here. And let's get a couple more ship practices. And yeah, yeah, yeah. A2 average would be about 7.5 million. Yeah, it's about, I mean, the fact that we got three point, I think we, were, we started at a Rhodium 2 at the beginning of the season. The fact we took 3.4, to Rhodium 2. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Uh, let me see. What do we want to do here really quick? We'll do a quick Kenobi battle. Let's get the full clear. And then I see people asking about free-to-play update. Free-to-play update. Again, not much has happened since the last time we did it. But the good news is we are very close to the finish line with getting our... Eh, just put it all in. Let's go for it. Uh, we're pretty close to the finish line with the executive. The, the territory battle rewards really kicked in and got me a massive boost of Zimbadils and a couple of impulse detectors. That was very helpful. Death Gun Ains, let's start catching up with y'all. Five dollars of death gun ain't. Can I get a yeet? <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't you get one? Oh shoot! I brought. Oh god. E. I brought the wrong composition in. Oh, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, you need to put fives in here. My bad. I thought I was going up against Radis for whatever reason. Um. All right. Well, I mean, that's not the end of the world. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What do I want to do here? I'm guessing we want to just kind of put all effort into. <sighs> all right. Let's just do this. Let's go over here. See, maybe, maybe I can get the spy out. Let's see. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, give me a second. Let me focus here. When I'm not paying attention, I'm putting the wrong teams and forgetting certain characters. All right, do that buff the spell. All right, I guess we're going after Sunny D. It's fine. Because yeah, normally you want fives to give the term here to Hyena. Let him get this off. Yeah, it's fine. Well, hey, you know, at least we can get retribution off this, right? Not the end of the world. Or I could just... I guess I could just do that, I suppose. All right, here we go. Juice up that turn meter. And let's just go all in on this boy. All right, slowly but surely. Working our way over there. No, no, no. I'm going over there. He'll pass it on over to Anakin. Very nicely done. Very nice. Done. Hold the fort. Hold the fort. What are we bringing out? Vulture droid? No. Uh, looks like Geo's and Soldier joining the fray. And no debuffs on Ahsoka. Let's pop a hip. Okay. Do a basic over here. Come on. Taunt up, Hyena. What are you doing over there, bud? Let's go taunt up. Come on. Come on. All right. You know what? Drop it. Give him a nice slap of the Moxie straight to the face. Okay. And no debuff still. That's probably... Yeah, just finish him off. Just to make sure they don't escape certain death. All right. Buff beauty on Sun Fact. They're down for... And... Yeah. It, it, it's a lot cleaner when you run fives. But it's fine. It's all good. Anyways. Death Gun Ains. What was the rest of that? Just a lot of Galax and Snap. I, you know, I've been getting a lot of comments that people talk about getting Galax and Snap. Been still needing a few cards to make it work. I truly believe, you're not going to everyone admit this, especially Mobile Gamer, I'm calling him out. I truly believe Galactus is the most peaceful climb. I was getting, so, uh, the, the past week, I'm trying to make my climb to infinite, the season restarted. And I'm using like everything. I'm using the Hit Monkey. I'm using uh, Death Wave. I'm doing uh, all the Dark Hawks. And I keep teetering around 70. I put Galactus on, I cruise up to 85. It, like almost instantly, minimum issue. Because I think the thing is, it's so easy to know when you're winning or losing. And you're only losing like one or two cubes. I never lose like more than four cubes, which is brilliant. Whereas the other thing is you don't know, oh boy, am I gonna win that zone? Am I gonna lose that zone? And I'm telling you, man, Galactus, when you get the toys up and running, it feels really, really good. Looking forward to it. Seeing you dominate with that, my friend. And I don't know, throwing a little bit of older public. Let's get that full clear in the bag, shall we? Let's do it. And unless the mirror match, ah, still even mirror matches. You can, it depends what, there's so much variation. It depends on the location, what your opponent has in their hand. Even mirror matches. When I know someone's playing Galactus turn five, I Spider-Man the zone. They bow down because they know I'm the king of Galactus. I practically invented the whole entire Galactus meta. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's, it's just a fact. I, th I thought we are fighting Redis. My gosh, I got to pay attention. I, 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 we won, but it's just like, like stupid things like this. I'm like, oh, we're going up against Radis. No, it's a little different. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And there we go. All right. They're out. Let's get the Raven's Claw done. Haven't seen Raven's Claw on defense in a minute. All right. What are we bringing out? Uh, Lando. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, they usually kill off at least one person. Let's go bring out the Hyena. All right. Let's go ahead. Dive over there. Give me a nice assist. Almost down for the cow. Yeah, that's an overkill. Just do basic. Get that full out of here. Yeah, let's go for Lando next. Let's go. Okay, keep pushing. And, all right, clearing up some real estate. Over on Biston, down they go. And, send them on to the bay. Nice, right, so you're the king of wave. I love death wave. I have a lot, I mean, I, wave is one of my most uh, split cards. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just like Galactus, it's such a, it's really easy to manage your resources and your cubes. But there we go. Nice full clear, big uh, applause again for Cal Unleashed for showing up to the party. A lot of drop battles up here kind of crossed it on their side, but it's all good. We had fun. I hope Cal had fun. And all we know that it's great to be in the Empire. All right. Good stuff. All right. Let's talk free to play real quick. I see a couple people wanting updates. And let me catch up on the rest of y'all, too. Hayden Solo, Solo with the 29 months. Thank you for the 29 months, my friend. Relic 8 Trench. Oh, man trench uh well this is our is this our first week or second week it's the first week of admiral trench right i'm curious to see what data is showing on trench um yeah uh he seems pretty easily beaten so far you know again it's it's just that it's a you know it feels kind of i don't know b ish great again it's, it's if he was a marquee character be like oh yeah it's cool right but he's not a marquee character. He's a conquest unit. And we're going to have our first territory with him this week. So we'll hopefully get some more interesting stuff to show you guys. Do the other ship battles. We already did the other ship battles. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, Trench won. Yeah, Trench won the GAC today, if you think about it. Yeah, I have no incentive to relegate Trench. Um, 
I actually think Relic 7's overkilling the guy, but it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm sure he's going to do well in Territory Wars. Uh, I, it's, it's like, um, hmm. Yeah, it's like, I think I think the problem is right now. Like, like I know, we know Trench can beat stuff, right? He beat Trench for Geos. Yeah, it seems like Geos beat him bad. Bad Bat seems to be a really easy Incoming counter to the guy. The, the issue is here with Trench is that... The teams he could beat, I'd rather use a different team that's more consistent, better banners than Trench. Like, he beats, you know, decent stuff. It's just, you know, it's kind of sketchy. It pulls away from some, like, it pulls away from Dooku, Django, Newt, Watt. And th those are all, like, not trash left over. They're kind of useful in certain, uh, in certain aspects. But if they do expand the Grand Arena to more defenses for Kyber players, I think Trench, we might have a deeper appreciation for the guy. So, uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. And then we have uh, Kitsu501 just defeated JML with no GML ho or no GL. Huge milestone goal. Nice. What did we use? Darth Revan, General Grievous. Yeah, Mass looks you, you got a couple of opportunities out there. Dr. Aphra. Eh, you know, Star Killer could sometimes eke their way through it. Awesome to hear, Kitsu. Good. It, it always the my favorite feeling, and I want to rant about something in a minute here. Uh, my favorite feeling is taking non-GLs and beating GLs. It feels really darn good. Really good. All right, here's the update. Uh, so good news is we basically are like, we're almost there. We're almost at a Relicate Boba. Uh, let me move this up a little bit so you guys, Gary. Scoot it up. There we go. So yeah, four more impulse detectors away. Um, and then we just got to get IG, uh, IG-88. It's the one that's been holding me back this whole time. Yeah, I think I already looked for shipments today. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I don't know when the executor comes back. But we're going to have a Relicate Boba in the next day or so. Easily. All I need then is to get this IG-88 to Relic 5. Hopefully, you know, it's at, at this point, it's just I need to make sure we have enough signal data to get us to the finish line. 15th. 15th. Five days from now. As a reminder, make sure you guys get your taxes before April 15th, right? <laughs> That's how I'm going to remember all this. Um, yeah. I, mm, I think there's a pretty good chance that I can maybe squeeze it in. It's not even the impulse tech, it's just signal data and getting from Relic 1 to Relic 5. It's possible. We might have an executor by this week. Have to, is it in the events? Let's see. Let's see real quick. I love this song. Hey, um, I don't see it. Is it maybe it doesn't show me because I can't access it yet? That's finalizer. Ah, there it is. In four days. Hmm. There's a there's a good chance. Maybe. I think tomorrow I'll have Boba Fett Relicate. Uh, with the shipments refreshing, we'll get some of the gear and stuff like that to convert. And farm scrap upgrade, all that fun stuff. So the I want to say maybe 50% chance. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You need to do the, the five tier state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it 418? Did they move it? Was it April 15th? Maybe it was 15th last year. Is it April 18th? Because I still need to finish my Hold on. Was it fifteenth last year? I could have sworn it was the fifteenth. Taxi twenty. Oh my gosh, you, you are amazing. Yeah, the fifteenth's the weekend, right? No, no, fifteenth. When's fifteenth? That's the weekend. Yeah. Oh, I love you. Oh my gosh. And here I was thinking, whew. Okay. You know me. I'm gonna be that person. I'm gonna, even though I was planning to have it done by the fifteenth, we're gonna wait till the eighteenth now. That's just how I am. Yo, the thirteenth on the eighth, eighteenth for you. Nice. Happy birthday. Happy tax day. Shift down. <laughs> yeah, it, it just uh, it changed every year, hasn't it? Yeah, I know. I know. Trust me. I know. Now here's the thing. I have an account to myself. I just gotta finish the numbers. They always file an extension anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. But it's just like I always. I get stuck getting pet peeve. There's, listen, the Joker was right. Have you ever watched the animated Batman series with Mark Hamill voice and Joker? I believe the best Joker of all time. Let's not even get into that argument. Even the Joker's like, I don't screw out the IRS. Don't screw out the IRS. Even when I get the extension, I still like, I keep bugging. It's like, are we done yet? Are we done? I just want it done. I want it done. Ah, uh, always scared of the IRS. Listen, yeah, don't screw on. Jeff testing tomorrow. Yes, we'll be doing a live stream on the second channel likely tomorrow, Yadder. Don't you worry, but I'm looking forward to it. Jeff looks to be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, what else am I missing out? We have EB, I got you. LCSSB, you know what, Elsie? Don't worry, you're not the only one. LCSSB saying they're super salty with their 0-3 this week. Don't worry, free to play went through the same thing. 
Super Salty has uh, CG and two people with G six GLs versus my two. Yeah, and I know. And I misplayed the last Jace. I'm so frustrated at this matchmaking. Um, yeah, I missed the old Grand Arena. The old Grand Arena, at least you had a chance to like win a grand majority of your stuff. Doesn't exist anymore, but don't worry, LC. Let's just know that even the King of Trippy, God's Gift of Mobile Gaming, yeah, all the yada, yada, yada stuff. Even I can't get over the matchmaking in this game. It's just how it goes. Uh, Connor, Amadeus, $5. Been seeing a lot of negativity online for Star Wars, so it's nice to be in the one place where positivity thrives. You know, boy, I gotta say, it feels good. People, some people say I'm always negative. I think I'm relatively positive. I'm looking forward to the future Star Wars stuff. I, I saw some complaints about the raid thing. I think it's a good chance to redeem and maybe get people on board the sequels. Like, you know, again, I, like, Ivan was like, WTF, why, how did Sith Eternal come back? It's nice, they're now starting to fill in the gaps. And it's like, okay, I can have a better appreciation for how we got to the Sith Eternal re Resurrection. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's one of those things, I just hope it's quality stuff. That's the thing. I I love as, a lot of Star Wars. I want as much as possible, but I want it to be, you know, good quality stuff. So I'm, I'm glad you find this to be a, a positive aspect to sit back, relax, and see where it goes. Uh, what else do I have here? Uh, did I, Ethan Keating, I got Ethan Keating. Jeff Messer, never a doubt. Oh, God, the guy for Empire. Thank you, Jeff, for 32 months, my friend. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Um, we did my dailies on the free to play. Uh, what's this? This is just raid stuff. All right, boys. I think today's just one of those slow days. Uh, I, here's what my expectations are for this week for those wondering. I have a feeling tomorrow we're probably gonna get an announcement. Um, what's on the 18th? No, the 18th is uh, that's just if you're in the United States, that's that's when you got to file your taxes by, or like you can file an extension, but yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm not your accountant, you guys can figure it out on your own. Um, but no, this week, if you I think this week's gonna be kind of busy. I think we're going to expect his next week's conquest, right? I'm pretty sure next week's conquest. Yeah, right? La yeah, conquest starts next week again, right? Hold on, where's their calendar? I have a feeling we're going to get the next conquest announcement. My expectation is it's probably going to be that Sith. Um, what the heck was it? The Fury Interceptor? Yeah, you've done my taxes good. Uh, good on you. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm always a late bloomer, but it's going to happen this week. I'm not going to wait till the 18th, even though I probably should not have learned of that. It, it was better to know that it was the 15th. You did my tax in January. You're like that. What was that guy? Ned from The Simpsons. He does his taxes on January 1st. <laughs> um, I'm pulling up the calendar just to give you guys an idea. I don't think we're going to see the next Cal Kestis unit this week. Uh, we heard you had Marin last week. So I expect here. Let's see. Where's the calendar? April calendar 2023. Uh, where's the Cal Kestis thing? All right. Here we go. And then. Uh, okay. There we go. So, yeah, when does Conquest start? Uh, da, 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 da. Does it not show here? Don't they normally put Conquest on here? Apparently not. Well, I'm pretty certain Conquest starts next Monday. Uh, and if that's the case, we got to know what it is going to, what's going to, what is it going to be this week? And it's looking like it's probably going to be that Fury Class Interceptor they accidentally put out a little too early. I just, it's, I have, I get, I have a hard time getting hyped for ships. The scythe kind of let me down. Mm, but a man a sith ship it's gonna be hard not to be excited and then i suspect next week we're probably gonna get tarful uh so that's probably gonna be on next week's agenda and then the week after two weeks after that i, I don't know maybe they'll release tarful this week but just it's seeming like every two weeks they release something new so that's gonna be our agenda and if you want to play some marvel snap tomorrow i'll be live on the second channel grab that have you ever tried the current galactic challenge i don't i have not you want me to try it out i'll try it out while we catch up together Usually I just go in and put it on auto. Do I have to actually think? Oh, Tuskins, let's do it. Let's do it with some Tuscan action. What do we got? Tuskins, momentum. Let's go for it. Put the Tuskins on full auto. It's my favorite team in, not the favorite. It's my favorite meme to dream team. It's not my favorite team. My favorite team is probably something else right now. But this, is, this team is just so funny how it works. Yeah, time to freeze the game, right? Anyone know when the next executive event is? We just uh, actually talked about it a few moments ago. It's four days and 10 hours from this very moment in time. So 15th, I think is what we said. Something like that on the 15th. All right, what else we got here? Oh, it's Meathead in the chat? Oh, I don't know. I see, I see people saying W Meathead. Hey, there's me, hate Meathead Militia. Hey, if you want Meathead, feel free to drop the kit reveal for tomorrow's Conquest unit. I'll keep it private. I, I, I'll just show the people who are here. So if you want it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain. You know, you're gonna put it out tomorrow. We all know that. So just let's do it right now. Let's just do it right now. Is that the real meathead motion? It looks like there's two of them in the chat. <laughs> no, is that the real one? I can't tell. 
<laughs> yeah, come on, listen, it'll be our little secret. No one's gonna know about it. No one will know about it. Just a, it's just like 24 hours early. Oh God, okay, we're getting, oh my. It, it's not looking good and there is it. <laughs> oh, oh, speaking of CG. Um, we finally, I don't know if you guys follow me on the tweeters. We finally got the, um, ah, I'm a little sad. Uh, we, I'm, not, I'm not sad. I'm slightly disappointed. I was hoping for some big changes, but the uh, Lord of the Rings CG's new mobile game. I, when I saw, I don't know if Meathead is any, he's involved in this at all. There we go. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, what are you doing? No, no, Gary. No, I, that's fine. All right. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're going to try the game out again. I wasn't crazy impressed with it last year when I checked it out, and they said they're going to do some graphical stuff. Maybe they still have graphic stuff planned, just from the beta stuff I've seen. Uh, it looks like they haven't changed much. So May 10th, so if you're looking forward to playing it, they have, like, pre-registration stuff going on, and it's going to wipe. So you, they're going to wipe everything, so don't feel like you're eight months behind. They're, they're doing a whole entire server wipe. I think the only downside is if people spent money in the game during the beta, they're going to get like a bunch of crystals or whatever the currency is kind of re refunding them. They're going to have a big crystal boost at the very beginning. That's the only downside of if you didn't spend money in the beta. You might be a little behind there, but it's just like uh, hmm, this is their 2023 trailer. And, uh, you know, again, I'm going to go in with an open mind. I want another cool game to play. I don't know if this is going to be as big as Strike Force or Galaxy of Heroes. So, like, this right here, this isn't gameplay. This is just a little cutscene cinematic or whatever. Uh, like, it's, it's a part of the game doesn't look quite like this. Yeah. It's just like, I'm not the, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe this is like old gameplay. I think they put new gameplay in here. If they updated some things. It's just the sounds kind of, they sound a little, I don't know if cheesy is the right word. Too simple. It's like, I, I, I you know, I, I wish we had some of the stuff in Galaxy Heroes where the background would be kind of cinematic. Like imagine Lord Vader. Like, wouldn't this be cool if like Lord Vader had a background of Mustafar behind him? Uh, and he does something more interesting. You know, uh, or like, let's say General Grievous is on Utapau in the background. Like, I really, I remember suggesting this many times. Like, I wish we had like cinematic backgrounds for all the characters. At least they did it here. Um, yeah, just, I don't know. The gameplay doesn't look like it's changed too much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so May 10th, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty close. It looks fine, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I just I think that here's the issue. When I look at the the modern day mobile games that come out, let's uh, let's be honest here. Part number one: Are we playing Galaxy of Heroes <laughs> because it's a good looking game? No, it's not the prettiest game in the world. We play it because you see past that and you're like, ah, I like Star Wars. There's not a lot of Star Wars games on the market. <laughs> Is that a jumping Gandalf? Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a, in the in the splash screen enemy, yeah, it's, it's a jumping Gandalf. Yeah, you're not a fan of the the graphics, but it's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so it's I'm It's just I was really hoping like, you know, we talked about the King Arthur game you know, King Arthur Legends Rise That's like the graphics on that game. Look um, Look really good. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel in today's view we're checking also the Lord. Yeah, like look at like this like I like oh man imagine if they took the Lord of the Rings and they like just like oh man the game would have been like spot on this just uh some person vulcan shot the vulcan but, like look how cool like look how much cooler this looks it's like ah i, I just wanted lord of the rings to look like this i just think they've done and as we get into some of the can get different weapons uh, uh, I like the way like this is kind of like your campaign like it's cool it's kind of like has this open world feeling it's like man lord this lord like lord of the rings game would have been like so cool if they would have like here's here's some gameplay uh this is like your character selection screen up to three times speed all right let's see some combat it's just like man like look at like the, the environments look so darn good for again for a mobile game a hero collector genre um man it's just like i just like lord of the rings looking like this would have been freaking next level would have been freaking amazing so i was really hoping they were going to do something um 
with it, you know. I guess in a way, this is kind of like in that Rage Shadow Legends realm. I feel like this actually might look a little bit better than Rage Shadow Legends. Like, look at this. You know, you, you have the, the like, you're kind of like watching the beast or navigating around it. Like, man, that would have been something. That would have been something. Let's get some attack animations in. Let's see, let's see some attacks. There we go. Oh, let's back up. Man. Ah. It just, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Like, I, I'm going to give the game a shot. Clear mind, open mind. And I kind of just remind myself why I play Galaxy of Heroes. Yes, do I wish it was a better looking game, of course, but we play it because, well, it's Star Wars. Hey, Meathead Militia. Oh, I got a message here. Let's see. <laughs> um, I, I got excited. Meathead sends me like one message every few months. Last one was last month. He got me excited. I thought we got the kit reveal. Nice job, Meathead. <laughs> Ah, oh, you got me excited. Yeah. Too complicated for kids. Yeah. I mean, um, we'll see. I, I told you guys what my expectations are. I'm expecting Lord of the Rings to maybe be better than Disney Source Arena, but I don't know if it's going to be as big as Raid, Galaxy, Heroes, Marvel, Strike Force. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm underestimating the, the, the power that the Lord of the Rings franchise has. Like, you know, it's, it's hard for me because I'm very biased towards Star Wars. <laughs> nice meet it. I'm very biased towards Star Wars. So obviously, like, I could see past this. Like, obviously, maybe when we're being a little bit pragmatic, maybe Lord of the Rings looks maybe a better improvement over this. Like, you know, you have the cooler backgrounds. I feel like the characters have a little bit more life, quote unquote, to them when I watch the Lord of the Rings. Um, I don't know. Uh, this, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too mean. We'll see. I'm going to check it out, though. We'll check it out May 10th. Maybe make a few videos. See how, how people are feeling about it. When you have a game like Raid, you can't come out four years later looking like cartoon. Yeah, it's a, you know, like, you know, again. Uh, I, I don't want to go into the full story, but like when I was reached out, like I had to sign a bunch of NDAs when I was playing. Well, I know it's King Arthur now. And I looked at the game I was like, holy cow, is this, is this the Lord of the Rings game? <laughs> and it wasn't the Lord of the Rings game. I found that I was the King Arthur. Ah, it killed me. It really killed me. Uh, let's try this uh, Galactic Challenge one more time. But, um, but man, like. I think the game would have been slammer if they just want like King Arthur raid type of graphics. Maybe there's a, a, a reason beyond just artistic preference and maybe ease of uh, development um, that I'm missing out on. The the graphics look like something off Nintendo Wii. I think, what did I say? I think I made a joke about it. I think I said it looked like PlayStation 1. <laughs> and I pulled out my PlayStation 1. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Again, I want games to succeed, right? I think the more quality games we have out there, the better. Um, but it's just, I, I can't help but just express. I feel like, uh, I feel, and I, like I'm not like the biggest Lord of the Rings guy. Like, you know, Star Wars, very few people can surpass me in terms of fandom. It's just like, I love the franchise. I like Lord of the Rings a lot, but it's just, uh, I like, I feel like if I was a fan of Lord of the Rings, I maybe would feel a little bit saddened about the direction they went with the art. And it could just be me. Maybe I just have, I have a different art. I, I, I enjoy games that are kind of, and that more realistic looking realm and maybe there's there maybe there were some barriers that prevented them from doing that i know they use uh, unity so maybe it's hard to kind of get that realistic factor in unity whereas unreal is amazing for doing more of that realistic look all the art is outsources adam i don't know maybe could be they only have a literary license but i i don't know if that bars them like you could do i don't want to say live action look hold on let me focus for a second here uh what am i doing here Uh, yeah, I, so I don't know the what the what the extent of oh my gosh is this the stupid thing where they take a bajillion turns in a row? Yeah, it's one of those things. I don't know what the extent of that license is, and you know, yeah, maybe they just had a literal license. So I get what you're saying. They can't have the characters looking like the 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 movie franchise, or whatever. But I, I don't know if that maybe again this could be something more for an actual experienced artist in the industry. I feel like there's got to be a way where you can still make the graphics look close to realistic as you can without kind of stepping on the toes of the films, if that's where the issue is. I could be wrong. I, I, I would love, you know what I would love to have? I would love to have a dialogue and like kind of ask these questions. I think that's the biggest question. Like, why do we go down this realm instead of a, a different direction of the art? And there could be a very reasonable explanation for it. Uh, but I, I, I want to believe, especially just seeing all these other games out here, that there, there, there was there was other ways of going about it. Uh, but you don't have to wait and see. Of course you can. See, see, Adam's kind of one of my folks I talked to. He's like, eh, what, what, do you, what do you think about this? Like, uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm not too crazy about it. So, yeah, I, I, 
I don't know. Maybe I got to talk to some folks about it. Maybe I'm being on. Oh my gosh. He just hits that ultimate like right away. Jeez, this is just holy crap. But it's, Adam says, but that takes effort. <laughs> Oh, man. Did you get the 60 FPS on Bluestacks? I did not. This is just running at 30. And I, it doesn't even matter. I don't... I don't... All I'd be seeing is me getting destroyed in 60 FPS if I got it to work. Ah, uh, anyways, we have Jax the Great. Tuscan's OP. Lock of the Emperor. <laughs> and don't you dare forget about that, Jack. And of course, you're always great. Great having you here, Jack. Uh, thank you for the 32 months. My gosh, 32 freaking months. Amazing. I, is there a... Boy, do I got to go on Reddit and see how people beat this? Jeez, this is actually quite, and I have pretty decent Tuscans too. We have uh, Rene with the $2. Heal Unleashed, baby. Clones Unleashed, you guys got some fantastic folks over here. Great having Cal play with me today. It was a lot, a lot of fun. Lots of fun. You need to focus down Radis, I guess. I, I suppose we could try it. Here, let's go for it. Okay, all right. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe it just, it seems like I can't get through the guy. Yeah, it just, it seems like we can't get through him at all. Uh, we have Wayne State 109. I want a Jedi Fallen Order graphics KOTOR game. Well, they, they're they doing that KOTOR. Well, I don't know what the status of it is. It's kind of in limbo land. <laughs> Love the pose. Uh, but yeah, they're doing the, the KOTOR remake. So I'm very expecting you're going to see a KOTOR game with modern day graphics on Unreal Engine. I it just, uh, yeah, I don't, geez, Louise, baby. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere here. Holy cow. Wow. Is it dead? No. I, I remember they ran into problems. Who was it? Was uh, not, was it Aspire? It was Aspire that was working on it. Aspire? Hold on. Did, did I miss something? You know, I got to say, I'm a little let down about Star Wars Celebration in this regard. There was no... I mean, I guess Jedi Survivor, but... You know, we kind of already knew that. But, like, there was no other, like, Star Wars video games. Like, I am surprised. Like, I know Star Wars Hunters. It looks like it's still coming out. They just... They expanded to a couple more regions. But, like, no Star Wars game announcement? KOTOR remake... I remember Aspire ran into some problems, but I did they actually like drop it 100%? Yeah, it's been a minute since I looked up at it. Let's see, this was eight days ago. Mm. The original Coter is made by Bioware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sequels Obsidian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe this is a little outdated. I don't know if I'm going to get through this. I might have to check Reddit in a second. Now, rather than development of a remake is being handled by Aspire Media, a studio Star Wars fans might be familiar with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've done a bunch of re-releases. Yep, 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 yep. They're also sponsored for excellent Android and iOS ports. Okay. This project far exceeds. Yeah, th this this project. But when I when I heard Aspire, I was just like, oh, that that's that's kind of above what they normally usually put out. Uh, this project far exceeds anything you've done before, and that's why they're collaborating directly with Lucasfilm Games and Sony Interactive in order to bring the best possible version of this game. Uh, reveal that they were able to hire several developers. Maybe there's some. This is this was posted like eight days ago. Yeah, posted April third. So maybe there's new information I'm missing out. Leaks, rumors, stuff like that. Yeah. Kill Jin first. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. I'm going on Reddit. Let's see. I'm sure we're gonna get at least. I'm hoping there's salt. I always love a good Galactic Challenge salt post. Hold on. All right, hold on. Uh, let's see. You have an exam tomorrow, start, man? But it's always nice to have a little bit of a cyber empire. It's, it's cyber empire, but it's, it's okay. I know. I notice a lot of people like in other regions, they think it's cyber. You know, it's still cyber, the cyber club. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go see what Reddit's up to here. <laughs> what did I say? I love a good salt day in Galaxy of Heroes for Galactic Challenges. Dear CG, if you're going to give Tuscan GCs, at least make the enemy team have Terminator mechanics. Yeah, there's not a lot of Terminator on a Radis team, is there? Let's see. Let's see what the comments are saying. Uh, yeah, I, mm. They're goal, yes! I live Galactic Challenge Salt. I feel it. I feel and I live it. I love this right here. 171 out of 330, Mary, my love. We'll be together soon. Their goal isn't to make you win GC easily. Their goal is to force you into feeling like you need to upgrade your Tuscan. I'm going to be real chief. I have pretty decent Tuscans. Relic 5 and I have an 8 somewhere or whatever. It's, uh, it's still kind of rough. Um, yeah, but it shows me they never, to never use Tuscan against Rogue One. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, uh, Rogue One's actually like the hard counter to Tuscans. We've seen that inside of the Grand Arena reports. Um, oh my gosh, too much to read. Too much. Uh, okay, uh, too much reading. I like, I like less reading. How my Sith grind is going. <laughs> what? 
Oh, come on. You can't hate on Treya. If anything, Scion's down here. Yeah, Treya's great. I don't know. No, I I take that away. No, Treya's good. Don't put it at the bottom. Uh, Kyber 3, no more. Okay, any... Where's all the salt? That's all the salt I'm getting today? Wow, seriously? Wow. No more salt. Disappointed. Disappointed. I was expecting a lot more salt. That was not enough salt there. Ah, oh, tree is all right. Uh, I'm gonna try one more time here. Uh, yeah, this is not looking good though. Andrew, uh, get out of the 999. As long as the writers are comped, I would not mind a Ray movie. Yeah, I mean, again, the, the, the thing I hate, I think the thing that kind of irritates me the most about the sequels is that I feel like there's a lot of missing context, a lot of like, we jumped from here to here, but what happened in between? And I, that's why I appreciate that Mandalorian and Bad Batch, they're kind of filling in the gaps. Like, obviously, you know, Mandalorian so far, we've seen a couple like, you know, what happened after the Empire? This whole rise of the First Order that's going on. So it's kind of cool seeing that happen. So you can have a better appreciation for the First Order and then also finally kind of filling in that gap a little bit better about where did the clones go? Because remember, originally, I, I believe, you know, the Stormtroopers were meant to be the clone troopers, right? And now they're kind of changing it. They, they just kind of happen. And then, you know, Rebels, you start a little bit of a, in Bad Batch, you really start fully seeing this transition and this hatred even against the clone troopers. So it's, it's a nice thing to add in context, uh, be put in and hoping if they do this Ray movie, which I don't see why they wouldn't, they, they fill in that gap. I would love to enjoy the sequels a bit more once we see that. So we got to see. Mr. Don't, or don't worry, Antetazani. I'm still scrolling up. I'm just seeing if I can give this one more stab. This looks to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, it's... Yeah, you're, you're, you're like getting... Like, this is the only guy with turn meter here. I just have... Yeah, uh... Boy, look, he's already halfway. Like, the second he hits ulti, we're kind of screwed. Um, yeah, we don't really have enough momentum on us. Yeah, I need to get a bit more. All right, 16 stacks. Come on, keep pushing. Yeah, he's about to go full alt here. Yeah, well, he's already ready to go. Well, that sucks. Yeah, um, it's looking like this might be one of those where I'm just like, you know, I'm just satisfied with gold crate. It's kind of going in that direction right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he's once he hits that, we're kind of done. Yeah, uh, we lost our damage dealer. I can't even get damage over times on this team right now. Yeah, all right, well, that sucks. T7 crate life, it sounds like it's gonna be one of those days. All right, what else do we have here? We have Andrew Gerardo, we have Michael Rossi, John Boyega won't come back, he even said to recast. Did he really, Michael? Is, he, is Michael still here? Uh, I, I could have, I thought Finn was back on good terms. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't keep track to like all the little like leaks, rumors, speculation, and stuff like that. I remember he was pretty ticked, it seemed like, at one point. But I I'm sure for the right amount of money, we all could be happy, right, Michael? Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure. I, I can't imagine that Dizzy's just going to just let the Finn story go to the wayside. I'd be surprised uh, if they did that. Ooh, hold on. We're actually getting somewhere right now. Hold on. Hold on. The problem is, I'm I need to get around this taunt. We don't have a buff this far anymore. Oh, crap. Well, that's it. We're done there. Jeez. <laughs> Yikes. And there's Andrazani Major, the one I denied. Started tickets for Jedi Master Kirby, my third GL. 6.6 .6 mil. Once you can be man, there ain't no going back. Let me tell you. It's one of those characters that just... Your life changes for the better. And I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully you got Cat not too far behind. You know what? All right, let's go drop down to tier 8. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll bang my head at this uh, later. I want more Kylo Ren. I'm kind of mentally preparing myself kind of mentally prepared you can't kill ursa first you can't kill Jin until you kill radis that's the problem yeah you're kind of kind of stuck in that unless this Jin doesn't work like the, the normal Jin. i don't know oh what else we got here cutting room floor got star killer and cat this week give them an air horn cutting room floor amazing stuff man great big week for you my friend Whew. i'm excited to get to that next threshold in the free to play once we get that executor we're really gonna be cooking I got Ethan uh, Keating. I got, I got you. I got you. I got casual. Did I get casual yogurt? I think I got casual yogurt. I got Wayne. Oh my gosh. I'm actually almost caught up here. Hold on. Oh no. I missed War Ridden. <laughs> War Ridden of the 24 months. I'm on vacation in Florida visiting my uncle and I finished all my exec requirements. I'm hoping I can be with you this week. It's great to be in the Empire today. And long live the Kyber Empire. Thank you.
you so much. Hope you enjoyed your time in Florida. I was thinking about maybe doing a little trip to Florida to visit my grandma. Maybe we got a tag team and see how we're doing. Uh, Rap OM, 12 months, Jack Black, a Star Wars story. I still can't get over it. <laughs> Jack Black, you know, because the funniest thing was the day before, we were joking about, oh, Chris Pratt's going to be in Star Wars. And literally the next day on Wednesday, Jack Black shows up. So we're, I, I don't think we're too far. But I, t I, I told you guys my theory. I have a theory that uh, if they ever want to remake the original trilogy, I just have a feeling they're going to cast Chris Pratt. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet that on that? We got uh, Rich Homie Daquan. Guess who unlocked JMK? Let's go! Hulk of the Empire. Thank you. Oh, hold on. We're actually getting somewhere. One sec. Hold that thought. There we go. On the gym before she revives. All right. Hurry up. Come on. Oh, gosh. Come on. All right. It's looking pretty good right now. Boy, this is two crates down. We're still having some struggles. And the thing is, oh, there we go. Hey, we're getting through this one. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Chris Pratt's the new hand. I'm telling you, if they, I, I have a feeling there's conversation happening. They want to remake it. You know, they, they're freaking remaking Moana into live action. And it's not even like 10 years. It's only been like, what, five, six years since Moana came out. That one really surprised me. I was not expecting that. Ah, uh, what do we got here? History Teen, how we doing, bud, with the $5? Hey, Emperor. Thank you so much. Working towards my first GLC. Your stream's relaxing in my dorm. Flooded from broken pipes. Oh, gosh. I had some plumbing issues not so long ago, so I know how that is. But the Kyber Emperor never has plumbing problems. Oh, ignore what I just said. We True. We never have plumbing problems 100%. <laughs> Barely an inconvenience. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you. They could take Gary's entire dookie one flush. How does it work? I don't know. I don't even want to know. No, I don't go to the bathroom. That's that's more of a you thing. Yeah, no. Kings of Triple B's, we don't know. No, no number one, no number two. I know, it's pretty nice, isn't it? Ah, what else we got here? Baxter Alexander, 14 months of loving you. Baxter, too kind. Thank you, my friend, for the 14 months. And welcome to the Kyber Empire. And then we have KB, we're waiting for that Galactic Legend Jack Black. I still can't. I can't get over it still. I just can't. All right, you know, can I just do a quick first order battle? Put it on auto. Hope they don't suck. And there we go. Send them on in. Vax Alexander, I got you. K Beaver, I got you. History Teen, I got you. Boy, plumbing issues are the worst. Not from personal experience. I'm just assuming they're the worst. We have the Proto Gamer, I get you. Are you excited for the older public project? Oh my gosh. Yes, we were just talking about that. I'm just happy to see that older. It's like almost a guarantee Revan's going to be added to canon at some point. He's officially going to be canon. And I know people have been speculating for years now that Keanu Reeves would play Revan. It gets me hyped beyond belief. The, the see that it's it's no longer just hope and dreams it's something that can legitimately happen um just like, again i hope they do them justice i hope they get their justice done Lindsay lohan confirmed for the live action one i can't i can't even tell if you're joking right now <laughs> i got slippy steve earlier today i got zombie killer i got rune dread ghost kadar the poet i actually oh my gosh am i actually caught up no i'm not we have Ghost Rider, the two dollars. Can I get, uh, can my new puppy get a lifetime Kyber Club pass? What did I tell you, Ghost Rider? Get a new puppy, give him all your love, and just keep that love moving along, my friend. I'm glad you got a new puppy, my friend. And of course, listen, dogs eat for free around here. That's just how we do things. Do I gotta do this again? Oh, man. All right, this is actually easy. Attacking out of turn. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's just do an attack out of turn thing really quick. Uh, attack out of turn, that works great against them. Um, Han and Chewy, right? Imperial Troopers aren't going to work well against them. Hold the phone for a moment. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Do that. All right, there we go. Set it out in. Congrats, Ghost Rider. Makes me happy to see that. We have me, the one month. Me, 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 me. Galactic Legend Hondo. He's basically a mini GL. I think his data crown goes away in a couple weeks, right? Next week is the last week of... Uh, yeah, I think next week's the last one, right? So, only gonna have Jill Honda for so much longer. Ah, what else I got here? Oh, we got a, a Kyber Club message retracted. I don't even know who it was. I don't even have a name. Well, thank you anyways. And then we have Jotar. Oh, Kujo, the 550 rubies. Thank you so much for putting that Arthurian game on my radar. I'm a, I saw your comments about that. I'm glad it's up your alley. I'm a huge Arthurian fan, and I'm pretty uh, excited about it. Yeah, it's... um. I'm happy for you, but I'm still a little sad. Just a little bit. That Lord of the Rings isn't working like that. But I'm glad you like, it was something I was definitely not expecting. You know, like you, we can all think of, I don't know, 
hero collector for Super Mario or Pokemon, you know, I was definitely not expecting an Arthurian Legends hero collector. So I'm glad that's up your radar. I remember seeing your comment about it. So it's glad that we found that perfect person out there for that. And we have Logan. I'm going to see if I could try to... Hmm, I don't think I can... Yeah. I want to see if I could try to get some buffs over on it. Is that enough? I don't know if that's going to be enough. Come on. Oh, come on. That's got to be a lot of attack. If it's 20, that's got to be a 20. Give me a 20. 20? Come on. That's got to be 20. Yeah. yeah. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to cap myself out. Oh, so close to max crate. Uh, how many more do we need? Ooh. Uh, yeah, I got to... Yeah. Would nine be enough? Nine is not enough, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm probably gonna tap myself out there. <laughs> King Arthur came a lot, didn't he? <sighs> All right, you're funny. You, you're funny. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Logan Brown. I got uh, distracted. Holy cow! Thanks for the twenty dollars. The thunder from down under. Logan Brown, everyone. Any pointers on good news to build for Ray, excluding resistance? I need uh, more teams, so there are tunes that work great with her. I'm building Cal, L3, and Hoda, but are there any other options? Logan Brown, I'm going to give you one right here, right now. You're going to thank me. You're going to thank me when you start nabbing some big holes. It's not a part of the raid requirements. I know they're not really double drop farmable right now, but I'm telling you, Zori Bliss is the best non-legendary team in the game right now. You don't need crazy speeds on the gal. She's only single drop farmable. Unfortunately, she's not like a two for one farm. It's kind of, I mean, it's a cheap node at least. It's on battle 1C hard, dark side. It would have been great if there was like, man, wouldn't it have been great if they put like resistance hero Finn or Poe or something like that on the Ray no, or on the Zori node. My gosh. Uh, I almost feel like this is mandatory. If you're getting Galactic Legends Ray, this is one of the best teams on the market right now. So I would uh, highly recommend you do that. Uh, other things, boy, let's look at the Ray requirements real quick. My mind's falling a little vague. I mean, generally the ray requirements are pretty nice. Oh, there we go. We got the little Reva Flash. All right, Ray. Yeah, they're they're all kind of like interlinked with one another. Yeah, they're they're all resistant stuff. They're so yeah, really, Zori. That's kind of your biggest thing. Zori's gonna put a team together. JTR is gonna put a team together. Uh, if you oh, if you want to make GL Ray better, then yeah, L three's nice. You don't have to go out of your way for L three. I mean, L three is nice though. Um, yeah, Cal Cass. I, I don't want to say get Cal Cass is the must. Cal Cass is very nice of Galactic Legends Ray. But if I had to say there's one character to get, definitely you want to get that Zori locked in. She's just way, way too good as her own standalone team. Hey, uh, let me just remind you guys again of the data. It's gonna we're gonna get more data this week. Uh, while I'm looking it up, let me pull up someone else here. Rich told me to Quan 49. Will you have another midnight stream for Infinite Client? I watched it after and I need to know if there's a next one. Uh, so far, thanks to my Galactus ease of climbing, I mean, who knows? Maybe once I get to 95, it'll change. I'm feeling like, I'm feeling pretty relaxed. Like, okay, we'll get there. You know, I don't feel like I'm stuck. Like, I did that stream because I felt like I was stuck. And I just wanted to be done. With Galactus, so far, it's been a nice, steady climb. Um, but don't worry, when it happens, it'll randomly show up <laughs> and you're recommended. Uh, I don't really plan my streams on the uh, snap. I just like, I just say, screw it. I want to stream. Uh, that's how we go about it. All right, let's look up Finn real quick. Yeah, I, this is, I, I feel like people are probably getting sick of me constantly talking about this, but I truly believe um, it just sucks that GL Ray's not the, the most like acquired GL. Um, all right, we got Zori. Where's the, where's the good stuff? Put you in there. Put the other Finn there. All right, and uh, no, no, I ain't Finn. Finn, why is it not? Why is it not letting me click on it? All right, this one. All right, well, it's not letting me click on the Finn. Oh, I want the FO. Okay, what is going on? It's uh, the website busted. Internet, okay, I got scared. My internet's working still. We're still working. Try again. All right, I think the website's locked up right now. Um, yeah, probably locked up. Yeah, I was trying to put in the ideal team in. Yeah, here we go. It's like once you start putting that in, Imperial Troopers get really dicey. Uh, bad Batch get like, it's just the win rates against this team are just so impressive. Incredibly impressive. Yeah, see a let like it's just it's nuts how for a non-legendary team, just a bunch of leftovers. The my gosh, the freaking inquisitor. 36%. Holy cow. That one looks pretty good. Uh it's it's missing Poe though. That's why this one's looking good. You, you need both Poe's in there. Wampa. Uh yeah, okay. Hmm. I feel like they had the other Poe would be a bit of a different story. Yeah, look at it. Galactic Legends being thrown at Dr. Aphra. Yeah, uh, this is it's a, this one blows their mind. Sixty six percent win rate. And I've had I've had people lose of gas versus mine as well. So yeah, if there's one thing I can recommend, my friend, uh, get Zori. 
Just get Zori Logan. I'm telling you, it's gonna be pretty good. The website's been pretty buggy. Yeah, usually at the end of a grand raid, it gets a little, a little, a little on the buggier side of things. All right, what else I got here? We have Isaiah M uh, M09 with the 409. I want to boost my Jedi team while working on JKR, but Zalbar is taking a while to farm. But I don't know if I should Zeta Qui Gon or Anakin. 100%. Uh, go for if you. Well, not even just Zeta Qui Gon. There's no point in Zating Qui Gon unless you're in Omicron. Let's be clear about that. Yeah, you really, there's no point in giving Qui-Gon the Zeta. You want to give him the Omicron. And just a reminder, my free-to-play gets a lot of Qui-Gon holds, and he's only at, like, gear six. So 100%, if you have the Omicron, putting it on Qui-Gon is a great bang per buck, especially if you have a good Anakin up and running. Thank you for your first super chat here, Isaiah. I greatly appreciate it. And then we have two dollars. Can you land Baxter Alexander, your Baxter tank? What's wrong, Baxter? Is there something wrong now? Oh, gosh. Listen, he's he's more than welcome to come around. It's open 25-8. Slip a jaw just to put him back on their feet in no time. Hope they're doing all right. Back to Alexander didn't tell me he needed it. Next time, put it on my radar. Oh my gosh. All right, what else we got here? Uh, ooh, White VX. Is that actually confirmed? Next chapter. I don't even know if I'm gonna read that. Uh-oh. Ooh, is that actually how it ends? I have a feeling it's gonna be something like that. I'm actually jealous. People at Star Wars Celebration you got to see the next episode pretty early. Yeah, I can't wait to get Zori. Been farming since it was possible. Two stars left to go. Nice. I mean, you can use her at low gear. Remember that. She is very low gear viable, so don't sleep on her. She's very good at gear 11. All right, anything else I'm missing? Let's see. What's the best relic Qui-Gon should go to? Dude, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I don't even have relics. It's, it's all about Anakin. I mean, yes, Qui-Gon is nice to get up, but... I mean, look, this is my Qui-Gon right here. And can you guys see? It's literally <laughs> gear 6 it's one of my it, it's one of my best g defenses in my free to play it just it's all about Anakin um yeah I have no incentive to get him up and running a bit more obviously if I go for Kenobi it's a great incentive to build him up a bit more but we're not going for Kenobi right now this it's all about him just dying off yeah his stats aren't gonna be that great the feed to the others but it's all about Anakin just popping off yep Benjamin yeah it's impressive it's one of my best bang per buck teams literally here let's let's look at my defense I'll show you What's the Zori lineup you need? Do you not watch my videos, Alex? <sighs> Breaking my heart, Alex. Uh, I'll show you. All right, really quick. We'll, we'll wrap up on these two things. Oh, da, 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 dee, dee, dee. Grand Arena, Grand Arena, Grand Arena. All right, let's pull up that for Qui-Gon. Pull up, um, nope, out there. This for, all right. So Qui-Gon, yeah, I, my team is really bad. I probably didn't get any holds against this guy. I mean, look, holy cow, up against even these high GP opponents. Just look how garbage my my relics are. It's just it gets hold. It's all it is. Just, it, the Anakin farming requirement for Sith Turtle is fantastic. So I'm telling you, don't feel like you can't use Qui-Gon, even if he's trash. I literally probably have the trashest Qui-Gon team in existence. Uh, didn't get a hold here, uh, but we still get holds on this team, which is pretty funny. Uh, so, um, yeah, I throw on the Omicron, you know, if you have Jedi stuff left over, which you probably do, you know, it's, it's like, look at it, three holds right there. So two out of my three grand arena this week, they got holds on them. So yeah, don't, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yes. More the merrier. If you can afford it. I just have no, one's, if it's getting me holds right now, I'm kind of all right with how, how it goes. And in a way it's kind of good because Qui-Gon dies really easily and then Anakin just pops off right away. So yeah, just, it's all about Anakin. Get Anakin as high as possible. And then in, in regards to Finn, first obligatory, do not watch my videos, a little sad. Uh, here's the team right here. Yeah, this team almost stopped full clears two times this week. Right there, Finn lead. Zeta's incredibly important, Zori. I like to give the resistance heroes and then Poe. That's the go-to. I know the Datacron's cool, but she's great without the Datacron. Yeah, I think almost every Grand Arena this week, I got massive holds. Let's see, got holds there. Let's see, did I get holds here against uh, Arbastorn? Uh, no, no, no holds on Zor here. So the, very, the very rare case of no holds on Zor. And then the one earlier, was it this week? Yeah, this week, yeah, yeah. Uh, she almost stopped the full clear. Yeah, and we actually had a complication of Zoya herself. Yeah, five holds right there. So don't sleep on it. Cheers for spoiling. I just ruined my Wednesday. I, I would say take what they said of the grain of salt, Jack. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to not be spoiled about stuff for sure. <laughs> uh, can you explain the mods for the SL carry, J carry? Oh, man. Oh, Yotter. 
Yada yada yada. Um uh, it's uh okay. Oh man, that's not that's not a really quick conversation, Yada. That's like a 30-minute conversation, and it's a very boring one. Alright. There's a very specific turn order with things. Let me double check. Uh, it's been it's I haven't touched my my mods in these in ages. So I believe Hermit Yoda needs to be... Uh, here's the thing as well. I don't think I even have the mods in the right order because I don't use it. We don't really see SLK and defense in my neck of the woods. Yeah, but it's important to make sure Hermit Yoda is faster than Jedi Revan. That's thing number one. And then with Jedi Knight Luke... Oh, uh, where's he at? You need a crap ton of offense on the guy. Yeah, Jedi Knight Luke, you just want to load this fella up with as much speed, crit damage, and offense as you can. I'll just show you my mods. You know, generally, look, you don't really have to be that fast, but it's, yeah, you yeah, want to make sure that physical damage is as high as you can afford it. And then, yeah, there's a very specific order because you want to make sure you're getting everyone to a call to assist. And you want Bass LaShawn. Where is that girl? Bass LaShawn. Where is she at? She needs to go before Genonite Luke, but she needs to go after Genonite Revan and uh, Hermit Yoda. But then you got to make sure old Ben is clocked at the right amount of speeds. It's, it's a very weird turn order of operation. So as long as you make sure Hermit Yoda goes, gives the master train to Giant Luke, and then you make sure that, because um, remember, Revan's likely to get their bonus turn at the very beginning. Then you got to make sure Basla goes, passes over the buffs, old Ben. Where's our speeds at on this guy? You got to make sure old Ben's faster than Jedi Knight Luke, and they go right after Basla Sean, so you get the ability block going and all that fun stuff. It's a very specific turn order. So not to say you need these exact speeds, but you need to make sure Hermit Yoda is faster than Jeanette Revan. Ideally, try to get in that speed range. The faster, the better you can afford. And then you want Bass Sean going third in speed. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Old Ben fourth. And then Jeanette Luke dead last because you already got the buffs out. You got the master's training out. You're calling extra assists. Yeah, it's a very specific thing. Ben needs to be fast. Ben needs to be fast. Ben needs to go before Jeanette Luke goes, ideally. It's the ability block controls because you don't want to kill anyone off and then sith trooper pops off there you want to make sure you get ability blocks on him as early as possible so yeah old ben not the fastest but he needs to be faster than janet luke 100 percent yeah it's uh it's really annoying how it goes it's a very specific order of operation it's a little sad that i don't quite have opportunities to use this counter but it's always there the mods are always sitting there even though i haven't touched them in a while they're always sitting there so when that moment ever comes up we'll be good to go at that part all right I'll do like one more. I love talking to you guys too much. Any snap today or tomorrow? For sure tomorrow, Mark Mate. We'll do a little bit of likely what we're going to do because I'm, I'm almost expecting we're going to get a kit reveal for something tomorrow or announcement. So likely we'll just stream snap and then whenever Galaxy of Heroes news happen, we'll talk about it then. So yeah, I'd say expect, because uh, I think Jeff comes out tomorrow. My name is Jeff. That's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that qui -Gon team worth pulling JK from Padme? I don't have Padme, so I can't tell you, but I think Padme works fine without Anakin uh but yeah i think it depends if you need anakin for padme for what you do keep anakin there but for me if i can make a low gear <laughs> team may get me the most defensive holds on my roster i'm not mad about that not mad at all syrup best of luck on your exam tomorrow my friend great having you here actually while i'm giving last minute conversation guys i'm gonna give you guys a round of applause you guys are amazing as always the super chats incredibly generous too generous never asked always appreciated and of course, everyone's time spent here, the likes, the subscribers. My gosh, you guys are amazing. Time is the most valuable asset, as I always say. But the good thing is here, at least the 25-8 timeline. It's nice to have that, my friends. Just like it's great to be in the Empire today. Master M with the three months. GG's and great stream model. Relic Song as outro. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, fine. Pull my leg, why don't you? All right, Gary, hit it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Revan, read Jack Dawson. Jack Dawson, I don't see Jack Dawson. Jack Dawson got that first series five today, card. Hell yeah! Who was it? Hold on. What's the name? Hold on. Uh, turn this guy down a little bit. Jack Dawson. You got Negasonic, Teenage Warrior out of a box. Nice. She's all right. I've got. She's all right. I've gotten some all funny stuff out of her. I was really happy until I realized it could only be. Uh, it could have been Galactic Thanos. Ah! Yeah, Galactic Thanos are a lot better. But it's all good! Because you guys are amazing! 
Make sure one more time, chat. Leave that like, comment down below, subscribe, tell the YouTube acronym we're doing a good job over here. Big shout out to the Copper Cup, high roller. Big shout out to Gary. JK, don't give a shout to Gary. Woo! I'm looking forward to this week, y'all. You guys can keep, no, 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 Gary, no, Gary. Why aren't they clapping? Keep clapping. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, take it easy. Looking forward to all the bubble gaming domination we got going on this week. And always remember one more time in case you missed the first 30 times. Hold on. It's great to be in the Empire today. To be the best. Just pull out that card. And give me those three wacky numbers. To be the very best. You gotta wait on just like the rest. So take my hand and let's do it. Farming just a scrap to get another upgrade. Farming just a scrap to get another upgrade. Farming just a scrap to get another upgrade. Every day, every day, hold on. Every day. Hold on. Music and Atkinburg said, I just want to thank you for the best MGH content. No, thank you, Atkinburg, for being truly the best audience of all time. Thank you for the reminder. Almost forgot. Fun game. Here on Blood Content, we know this is the way. If you don't like it, well, this is our doorway. Maybe I'll tell you the secret you need to rise to fame when you pay. Impulse detectors and all. Goodbye. 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 See you guys later.